Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> How you guys doing? Doing all right? Feeling good? All bright-eyed, bushy-tailed? <laughs> good, because I'm not. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my uh, insomnia kind of gave me... <laughs> Run for my money. Get rid of this towel. I was feeding my face. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I, usually on my weekends, I set my alarm. Let's get our girl activated so she doesn't run away on us. I normally, on my weekends, will get up around 2 o'clock in the morning. But I hadn't slept well all week. And plus, I've got company coming over this evening, so I knew I needed to sleep in late. Either that or I'd need to take a nap and... I know how well that would have worked out. So I went ahead and set my alarm for five instead of two, like normal. <clears throat> and then, of course, no, it wasn't. I didn't set it for four. I set it for three, I believe. Or was it five? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm still, still not completely with it. But, oh, yeah, um, Mary wanted to run this with me. Okay, so we're gonna we're um we're gonna come back to this because I know she wanted we were talking about it. Anyways, I'm saying I snoozed hit my, hit my snooze button over and over and over and over and over, and then I guess I felt and to the point where after an hour and a half <laughs> of snoozing, it won't let you. So I shut my alarm off, and the next thing I know, I wake up and it's quarter after seven. <laughs> And I look at the clock and I went, whoa, I got to stream in 45 minutes. <laughs> so it's called get up, you know, get myself presentable, try to eat something because I haven't eaten since, oh man, when is it? I went to bed probably about two yesterday afternoon, but it. It's probably been about 20 hours since I've eaten. So, I had to shove something in my face. But, yeah. Mar uh, like I said, Mary and I were, were talking. And she wanted to run this, this delve with me. So, let me see where I'm at. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave the delve for now. And let's just see what other quests we have. Well, we have talked to Saren for uh, the main quest line. This is Yeah, this is just a delve. So let's see where, where this is. Way over here. Let's talk to Saren. All right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to work on... We'll just follow the main quest line for, for a while. Uh, Mary said she'll probably be in probably about an hour, hour and a half. She has some kind of appointment. Got a message of some sort. Let's see if it's important. Okay. Yeah, I just messaged Mary and told her that I, I've got Discord on. So when she popped in, everybody, we would be able to hear her. And she's like, she's fine with that. She's messaging me something else. Um, okay, yeah, she's got an appointment she's getting ready to go to. Let's tell her. Let's see. <clears throat> Okie doke. So... Um, oh, I'll let her know I'm saving that, that delve for her. I'm saving that delve for when... I'm not a fast typer. I have fat fingers. When you join me, I'll just run... The main 
storyline with my, whoops, not New York, <laughs> with my viewers. Smiley face. the world? How did that happen? I had another message and I was trying to type in it and all of a sudden I'm trying to type into chat. I guess, oh, messenger must, must have crashed. Well, let's just go ahead and get, get ourselves there. <clears throat> and I don't know why, but Facebook Messenger has been acting up for me for the past two or three weeks. Like, I'll tap on the icon on my phone, and it takes probably 30 seconds to a minute to bring to bring up the Messenger page. And then once I tap on someone to be able to read their message, it takes the same amount of time to bring that up. I don't know why. I mean, my phone is new. Well, I mean, it's not like... It's only, a, it's only like maybe about three or four months old, if that... So, I don't know. Okay, so where are we headed? All right, so just take the road and we'll get there. Daily is that? I heard a messenger ping, but messenger's not still loading. Oh, that is so annoying. I can't see what's going on. I mean, I can't see in Messenger. And I hate that. Especially because I because I heard the ping. It makes it worse. To, you know, that's just, the, that's just the way I am. I know I've got a message sitting there that someone just sent. And I want to read it and respond to be polite. Okay. Finally. Jeez. You saw how long that took, right? Oh, yeah. Now I just clicked on what Mary had just sent. Now we'll see how long it takes for that, for Mary's page to open. Thank the moon and star. You've returned. Of course I've returned. Okay, what happened? The wise woman returned from the cavern of the incarnate and went right into Scar to meet with the tribes. Chodal is in there, too, about to be named as Nerevarine. Tell me you came back with something to stop my brother's rise to power. I spoke to some of the incarnates, and they gave me these scrolls. Uh, of course. Use the tales of the failed incarnates to counter Chodala's arguments. That's brilliant. Well, except for one problem. She's cute. I didn't... I really... really lo I, I don't know why. I love the deep red eyes of the Dark Elves. <clears throat> and just the shady they look... They used... For her face. Very pretty. Oh, problem? An outlander has no status in the council. The Ashlanders won't listen to a word you say. Someone else has to present the arguments. Someone they trust. I suppose that means I have to challenge my brother. With your help, of course. Let's see. Uh, how can I help if I can't talk during the council? You spoke to the incarnates, not me. I'm familiar with their stories. But I'll need you to help me choose the appropriate argument to counter each of Chodala's claims. I hate opposing my brother in this. I just don't see another way. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <coughs> I haven't been awake an hour yet, and I'm going to have to think. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Let me just a second, please. Hmm. Sorry, I don't like being rude. I know you're thinking, well, you're not talking to us and you're doing that. It's like, I just try not to be rude. I got a message. I want to answer it. It's just the polite thing to do. What? What? Oh, 
okay. It was my friend that's uh, coming to coming to see me this evening. Right with you folks, and right with our girl, Saren. Oh, it helps when I can spell. Really? <clears throat> yeah, my, uh, <clears throat> my the person that's coming over this evening, they hadn't checked their phone in a while, so they hadn't seen the text, so they'd already forgotten about their visit. I hadn't. All right. Uh, when should I give you Incarnate Ronso Scroll? Let's see. Actually, let's do it alphabetically. That might make it a little bit easier for my pea brain to understand since I'm not 100% awake. When should I give you Incarnate Aduri Scroll? Incarnate Aduri was a champion of my people. She defended us against great threats. But when she grew to love war for war's sake, she proved she wasn't the Nerevarian. When Chodala proclaims that war is the answer, hand me this scroll. Okay, God, I have to try to remember. A Duri is with war. <clears throat> when should I give you Incarnate Donat's scroll? Incarnate Donat thought his way was the best way. He rejected the counsel of the wise women and the Ashkans, something Nerevar would never do. When Chodala proclaims he knows better than anyone, We'll use this scroll. Okay. Ronso. Wait, no. Don uh, Donut's scroll. He knows better than anyone else. All right. I'm just going to have to fake that one. Uh, when should I give you Incarnate Ronso's scroll? Incarnate Ronso was strong and powerful. He thought that by strength alone, he could unite the Ashlanders. He failed. When Chodala proclaims his power, that's when we'll refer to this scroll's sad tale. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go dispute your brother's claim. Meet me inside. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, my goodness, I'm getting more messages. Let's see. I don't know why I'm getting flooded with messages all of a sudden. <clears throat> Got three different people messaging me. Good heavens. When am I, since when did I become so popular? All right. Um, okay. I've been in here, but I think I'll, I think if I'm not mistaken, we only have to go up here. We don't have Must to go. We continue this farce. <clears throat> it's obvious that I'm the Nerevarian. Someone has stepped forward to challenge your claim, Chodala. Seren, I'm disappointed in you, dear sister. Enough. I shall hear your arguments and render my decision.
Even the Outlander can see that I'm the most powerful Ash Khan. My strength alone proves that I am the Nerevarine. Okay, so... Chodala puts forth his great strength as proof of his claim. Give me the scroll that discounts such a trait for the Nerevarine. Let's see. This was... Something else. It was... Shoot. <clears throat> okay, the strength was the last was the last one. So that should be Ronso's. Yes, that's a sound argument. Incarnate, appear! As a warrior and as an Ashcon, I was the most powerful of my age. But for all my strength, I failed my people. Don't follow. The Faithless Houses dare to threaten our land, but we shall meet them in battle, and I will lead us to victory. Okay, that sounds like war. This is more nerve-wracking than I anticipated. Which scroll do you recommend to counter this argument? Because it sounds... Yeah, because he's not listening to anybody, so that would be Donuts. So it should be perhaps Incarnate Aduri scroll is the best to counter this argument. That makes sense. I'll try that. Incarnate, <coughs> appear! I thought the path to the Nerevarian was a path of blood and battle, but my love of war was my undoing. War is not the way. These failed incarnates prove nothing! I need no counsel but my own, as befits my status as the Nerevarian. Yep. That's it. I think it's working. One more strong assertion, and that should do it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what assertion is it? There's only one left. <laughs> Incarnate Donut's scroll should disprove that assumption. Of course. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Excuse me. Incarnate, appear! I refuse to accept the counsel of the wise women of the Ashkans. I thought I knew best, but I knew nothing. That is not the way of the Seren and the Outlander, their arguments have merit. Chodala, we deny your claim. You are not the Nerevarian. This proves nothing! Look how the staff protects me! I am the Nerevarian! Red exiles slay the Brother, unbelievers! No! <clears throat> Circle around! <clears throat> You don't. <laughs> wow. Boy, talk about a temper tantrum, huh? <laughs> Whoa, there's another one. Oh, more. Okay. There's got to be. There's a boss. I see a boss bar. Doom. Okay, you want a piece of this? <coughs> Where'd she go? Oh, I just knocked her down. <laughs> So, huh? Oh, there we go. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> Man, she almost took us out, didn't she? We had we never really healed. I think just to be on the safe side um oh I forgot we got a daily reward what do we have anything good experience scrolls oh i don't know yeah i'll keep that one for her 
Okay, what I was going to do is go into my slotted items and find something that's going to... I like the fortifying meals that we get for uh, rewards, but they don't do as good as some of the stuff that we have. It lasts longer. Okay, so that's 58, that's 69. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I use that. I just wish there'd be something on the screen that would show you you had a little buff and then let you know when it disappears so you don't have to like just keep track of everything. But anyways, let's go chase him down. We have to go follow Saren. Got another message. to my hut and get my healer's sack. Now. Right away, wise woman. I hate what my brother's become. There she is. Oh. <laughs> Mortal, oh. I would have words with you. Oh, she's been she's been possessed by Azora. That actually looks pretty cool. I'm gonna sit here for just a just a few seconds, <clears throat> just because I'm kind of hoping that somehow. Oh wait, 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 wait! Oh, I don't remember how to do it. How to do? Uh... Oh no, I, I have to. I was try trying to remember how to do a screenshot. I don't remember. I'm kind of hoping that the when I go and upload this to uh, YouTube, that it'll pick this screen at, to use as a. Uh, um, what you call it? Thumbnail. <clears throat> Actually, because I really like this picture. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to... Uh, let's see. How to take a screenshot on Elder Scrolls Online. Just, let's see. says press alt plus print screen okay if you heard it here <laughs> if all of a sudden you see and hear a loud explosion and i you don't see this anymore it lied okay uh where is my print okay nope that's not let's see it says alt plus print is that print screen yeah let's see no, nope, that's not it. Maybe... Let's see. Um, give me a second. Numlock. Let's try that. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Don't leave her. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Um. Shoot. Oh. That, nope. That... <sighs> Darn it. Oh, well. I'll have to figure it out later. There's got to be a way that I just don't know. I know there's a way I can capture the page. I don't really know if I... Let me, let me just try it. It's going to take a second cause I have to change my screen layers. Wow, what is all that? No, uh, that's just that's too confusing for my pea brain. I'm just gonna give it up. It's it's a cool picture. That's all I can do. That's all I know. That's a cool picture. I don't know how to take a screenshot. Oh well. Chodala has been revealed as a failed Nerevarian, but that hasn't dissuaded him from his reckless course of action. As long as he wields the staff, he shall be unstoppable. What should we do? Or so, what should we do? 
Time is against you, mortal. Even now, Vivek, that pompous usurper, grows increasingly weaker. As much as I deplore him, Vivek cannot fall to Chodala's vile magic. There's another power at work here. One I can't quite put my finger on. There must be something I can do. Return to Vivek City. Do what you can to aid Vivek. And pay heed to my faithful vessel, Saren. I name her Champion of the Moon and Star. She will play a pivotal role in ending her brother's march toward godhood. If she survives. I'll return to Vivek City. That was exhilarating. <laughs> I <laughs> I think she's in love. <laughs> Look at her, she's just totally taken. I'm going to talk to her first. That was glorious. Lady Azura's presence filled me with such wonder. She actually spoke through me. I heard everything she said. And I felt her sense of urgency. You need to return to Vivek City immediately. She said you were her champion and that I would need your help. And help you I shall. Return to Vivek City while I track down my brother and his damnable staff. With the Ashlanders against him, he won't have many options. After I locate him, I'll meet you and we can find a way to break through Chodala's defenses. <laughs> <laughs> she's back in awe and wonder. Oh, that did last. Oh, yeah. She's like... <laughs> that, was actually, that was actually pretty neat. I haven't done that in a long time. Oh, she's just going to kneel and pray to Azura now. All right, we're going to head to the That Way Shrine. Okay. I was gonna say, where's I lost the road? <laughs> Man, I wasn't even on it. <clears throat> All right, so we are headed back to Vivek City. Um, now what? Okay, um, so we want the shrine, not the shrine, uh, the Vec Temple, that's what I meant. Because there are two shrines, or, yeah, way shrines in Vivek City, but one is closest to the temple, and that's the one I wanted. Let's see if I can't bring this closer so I can see. <laughs> Springs. What in the world? Oh gosh, I got another gold or not gold. I'm thinking I'm thinking wow, another uh subscriber follower seller. Hang on, let's see. I don't know if that's going to do me any good. Where is that? No, it was backslash I had to do that, wasn't it? Whoops. Backslash mod Nightbot. And I don't think that worked. Let's try that again. Because I thought I said it was backslash. Or is that forward slash? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's this way. There we go. 
There we go. I got him. I got him reversed. Mod space Nightbot. There we go. This is already a moderator of this channel. Well, it's not doing its job. If I get sellers in there. Oh well, I'll figure that mess out later. What is this now? Hang on one second. Just a second, folks. I'm sorry. I, this is something I got to get take care of. Okay, let's go see what shape our friend Vivek is in. <clears throat> Actually, I've been here, I've done this before, as you know, so I know what kind of shape Vivek's in. Red Mountain's particularly active. Pull yourself together. You're a buoyant armager for Vivek's sake. You can see now he's completely sitting down. See? He's not even hovering anymore. And he's using his staff to hold himself up, which he's never had the staff before. That we saw. So let's talk to our friend. As a god weakens, so too does his city suffer. I know my people grow fearful. Even the arch cannon is distressed. But the energy that remains to me holds the moonlit in the sky. At least for now. So what news does my eyes and ears bring to me? You can see this is why I liked Vivek. I don't know his history about how he got his godhood. Um, a co-worker of mine told me it has something to do with his armor. That it used to... That, it, uh, that armor is part... Um, of a set of armor that belonged to a god or something like that, and somehow he acquired a piece of it, the that arm piece, and I think part of the chest, and that gate, that gate, that's where he got his uh, divinity from. That's um, whether that's true or not, I don't know. All I know is what I see, and I see, I see a living god who cares more about his people than he does about himself. And with, you know, what little power he has, he's using it to hold the moonlit in the air. You know, that big chunk of rock. So, that's why I like him so much. Alright, uh, we discredited Chotala as the Nerevarian, but he escaped with Sunara. How this upstart Ashlander learned to attune Sotha Seal's tool confounds my understanding. And he dares use my power? Still, your help is appreciated. Every strike and parry takes us one step closer to ending this threat and restoring my vitality. All right. No, we're not talking to a hooded figure. Due to Lord Vivek's condition, it falls upon us to find the solution. Okay, so I only have... <laughs> I only have one quest sitting in my quest log right now, and that's... Soul Shriven and Cold Harbor, which we're not doing. Uh, we're, we will do that after we're done here in uh, Vardenfell. 
So we're going to talk to Arch Cannon Tarvis. Lord Levec must conserve his remaining energy. So we need to solve this problem on our own. It all comes back to Chodala. That damned Ashland has drained the warrior poet's power. We need to stop him and get that damned staff. Sunara makes Chodala invulnerable. How do we circumvent the staff? How should I know? That's not a skill the tribunal teaches. Return to Barrowzar's tower and get Sota Sil's former apprentice to come up with some kind of countermeasure. I'm sure he knows more than he's told you. I do have one concern, though. Just one concern? You see right through me, Outlander. I have more worries than a Kwama queen has eggs. I'm talking about Chodala's sister. Saren claims to want to help, to want peace, but I don't trust her. Seek out Barrowzar, but be wary of the Ashlander's sister. I'll return to Barrowzar's tower and see if he knows how we can circumvent Chodala's staff. We need to stop Chodala, and to do that, we need to find a way to overcome the device he's wielding. Find Barrowzar and make sure that crazy mage provides you with something we can use to save Lord Vivek. Can we be certain that the staff is required to save Lord Vivek? Is the bull sure it can bed the Betty? No. But by all accounts, we'll be better off with Sunara in our hands and away from Chotala. That won't be possible, however, as long as the Ashlander remains impervious to every attack. Is the bull sure it can bed the Betty? Huh? What is that? What does that mean? I don't have a clue what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> if anybody knows what that means, let me know because I sure don't. It makes no sense whatsoever. Oh well. Why don't you trust Saren? The female Ashlander? Well, if that wasn't enough of a reason. Remember that she's also Chodala's sister. Blood sings to blood, as the warrior poet so elegantly put it. Be wary of that one, Outlander. She'll stab you in the back. Mark my words. <laughs> See, now you know he's got to be full of BS when it comes to that, because she was possessed by Azura. I would uh, think I would think that a Daedric prince would know more than just a standard dark elf. So if Azura trusts her, makes her her champion, and also says that Vivek should not fall, I think I'm going to trust Saren and uh, Lady Azura over this one. Um, why does Vivek's condition threaten Vardenfell? Watch, she's going to mention the moonlit, I bet. Vivek loves this land, and the land loves him in return. He's always had a special bond with Vardenfell. Is it so hard to believe that Red Mountain reflects his suffering? Beyond that, there's also Bardao, the moonlit that floats above us. I forgot that, it, that they gave it a name. Bardao, that's the name of the moonlit. Tell me about Bardow. Lord Vivek's intervention stopped the moonlit from crashing into the city. He holds it above us by strength of will. But as he weakens, so too does the power that keeps the rock afloat. If Vivek's energy wanes further, it would spell disaster. And like I've said before, I don't understand... I mean... I don't understand why he doesn't just take his power and shift the moonlit and just set it slowly and gently into the water so it doesn't cause tidal waves and whatnot. Why doesn't he do that? Why can't he do that? And, I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it and said it before in a stream, but um, that same friend that was telling me, your co-worker that was telling me about his armor was telling me that he holds the moonlit in there because in this world, the the deities, like the, the Daedric Princes, the Daedra and the Aedra, 
they all get their power from their worshipers. The more worshipers they have, the, more, the stronger they are. If they lose worshipers, they lose power. If they have no worshipers, then they lose all their power. So according to him, he said that, that, he, that Vivette keeps the moonlit up in the sky as kind of like, I can do this with my you know mighty power, I'm protecting you, but also you need to worship me because if you don't you know if you don't worship me and believe in me, I lose my power and you're all gonna die. So I don't know what to believe. You know, until I find out about all that stuff for myself, I'm just gonna trust in Vivek because he he's said and done nothing but show his love for his people. Oh, excuse me. That's important to me. So, all right. Goodbye. Now we have to return to Barrelzar's Tower. Where's the exit? I wonder if I can talk to Vivek again. I just want to see what he says. Barrelzar. I think I remember that name. Sofa Seal's apprentice, if I recall. At least one of his apprentices. Crazy one, I believe. I feel so bad. The first time I played this, I felt so bad for Vivek. Because I really liked him. I had some kind of, you know, like a connection with him. And, like I said, when I played this the first time, I completely ignored all the side quests. This is all I did, is just ran the main storyline from start to finish. Once, once I uh, acquired, you know, the, the first part of it, I just... I don't know. It's just great writings. I mean, some of the writing in it is, you know, not the greatest in the world, but then you come across some storylines that are just, you know, you just can't get enough of it. What was that? Oh, just... Just him. <laughs> All right. Barrelzar's Tower. So... That's Barrelzar's Tower. So we want the... Molagmar Way Shrine. Okay, so yeah. on to the tower. I'll try. Wait, there's some. Oh, I thought that was. <laughs> I thought that was a uh, ore of some kind. So, that's why I stopped. I'm almost there, anyways. I can. Can run it. Actually, I was trying to avoid getting into deeper water. Oh, she's only at half stamina. Well, I'll get up to Barazar's Tower as soon as I can find a way to get up there. <laughs> I'm sure I came at it from the wrong angle. Oh, here we go. Whoa, what was that? Heavy sack. Oh, there it is. I didn't even see that. Barazar's Inner Sanctum. Huh. I don't remember that. Mm, here's a glowing mushroom. Okay, got... Where's the... Let's see, step up here and see. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Man, I did come at it from... <laughs> the wrong angle. Yeah, because there's the water. <laughs> nice. So it's almost a full circle. Oh, barrels are. Yo, weirdo. Just wanting to see if there's anything of interest. Doesn't seem to be. Tower understructure. He needs to be rescued? Why does he need to be rescued? 
does that say? What did that say? An urn. Oh, goody, a lockpick. I ha don't have many of those. Oh, goodness. Scuffin. Oh shoot, a hunger. I hate those. I'm gonna have to use a... Yipe! What was that? It's some ability it has. You just get to walk. Look at that. I just moseyed right in. And you can see why I don't like hungers. Those things are up. Well, you saw. They are not an easy fight. They're actually difficult in some of the bosses. Just because of everything they can do. And somehow I was trying to, I was moving so quick trying to fight, I accidentally changed my uh, weapon set. See, like that. And I don't, <laughs> I didn't have any, the right stuff handy, so. Oh, Barazar's Inner Sanctum. Well, there he is. He's just busy. So let's let's loot. He didn't even look like it says rescue him. It didn't even look like he knew he was in trouble. <laughs> That's funny. It's like oh ooh, a soul gem. It's like empty. That's okay. I don't want to say I prefer empty ones, but I like empty ones because then I can fill them. Why did I do that? I treated the uh, chest like it was a bookshelf. Like that. Oh, that was weird. Normally there's no... Uh, you don't um, have a bookshelf right next to the bed. Usually it's a nightstand. A cupboard right next to the bed, you have a radish. Well, Vivek did say he's the crazy one. So, oh, I was going to say, why does that say Varden? Oh, there's the, well, that's kind of weird. Okay, I can understand you want to have it, you know, why would you have your bathtub right by a trap door? Hopefully, you have it set so some, someone can just walk, can't just walk in on you while you're in the middle of a bath. That'd be a tad bit embarrassing. <gasps> Sweet, oh, I got one. I was hoping that was going to be five. Trixie hope it says. All right. Well, maybe he, he was... I wonder if he was attacked by that. Eh, well, let's just talk to Bar Barrelzar. So hard to concentrate and maintain schedules when interruptions constantly occur. 
Don't they know the great gear never pauses in its rotations? So that was you up there. I appreciate the assistance. Daedric entities can be very unpredictable. <laughs> See, he just seems totally unfazed. <laughs> they were just interruptions. Not, we're here to kill you or kidnap you or something, you know. It's an interruption. <laughs> Why were Daedra attacking you, Berylzar? Logic has very little place in the behavior of Daedra, my hopeful associate. Studying the fabric of reality does tend to attract unwanted attention. These creatures appeared just before you entered my tower. I wonder, why have you returned? I located Sotha Seal's tool, but it's been altered to steal Lord Vivek's divine energy. Ah, a modification of my master's old experiments. Turning a simple tool into a dangerous weapon. Genius! Evil, yes, but also quite brilliant. Hmm. A tonal inverter should count for it. It uses sound waves to temporarily disrupt the flow of energy. Do you have a tonal inverter I can use? No, of course not. I just invented it. I need proper components to build such a device. My hirelings scour the land for materials all the time. Here's a list. Head out the back door and ask them to direct you to these common dwarven components. <laughs> I love it. No, I don't have one. Of course not. I just invented it in my head. <laughs> it's like, okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where can I find these hirelings of yours? Hirelings? Yes, they worked for me before they quit, ungrateful netches. Still, I paid them well before the pistons slipped their alignments. They should know where to find the components. Last I heard, Snorfin and the others were in Molod Mar. Do you think the danger will return to trouble you? The situation is wound dangerously tight. I believe the gears revolve around you. Once you leave, I should be perfectly safe. Or at least as safe as I ever am in the midst of all these experiments. You, however, stay vigilant, my friend. <laughs> uh, can you tell me more about these components you need me to find? I could, but I won't pour five-year-old Flynn into a cracked decanter. No offense. Suffice it to say, they're fairly common as far as Dwemer components go. Use the list and talk to my former hirelings. I'll build the device the moment you return. <laughs> he is crazy, but he's obviously beyond genius if he can just say, Oh, you know, this happened, so, you know... I can just invent this. Here's what you need. Bring it to me and I'll make it. <laughs> All right. How's the... All right. Yeah, I'm not losing. Losing any enough energy to have to plug my phone in. Okay. Whoa. I was going to say, I, I didn't have a uh, ponytail. <laughs> All right. Talk to Snorfin. How far are they away? Well, there are ways. Right, we'll just do it this way. Yeah. What was that? Oh, just telling me about the fishing hole. We'll lose the puppy dog! Puppy dog! Whoa, those were, I recognize that sound. Those, um, the things I hate. <laughs> My brain melted. Sorry. But you know what I'm talking about. Ooh, if I wouldn't, I, the only reason why I'm stopping is because I saw two shinies. Shame on you. Iron? There goes my skeletal mage. And beach. Okay. Back at it. This looks like it's a little bit easier to cross.
Oh, well, I'm going to have to lose him anyways, because I'm going to have to get in the water, and... Can I get up the dock this way? Probably not, huh? <gasps> wow, I really did not expect I could do that. <laughs> Here's one of them, Snorfin. Really? Snorfin is a Nord name? Okay. I feel like such a puny snowback hiding here in Molagmar. But you don't want to hear about my troubles. What can this broken Nord do for you? Okay, well, that voice, Snorfin, sounds kind of apt. That's kind of weird, but okay. Berzar sent me to talk to you. He said you could help me find the items on this list. Berzar, he's the reason I'm a shattered man, doomed to become a cowering sheep like the rest of these pilgrims. Oh, all right, let me see that. Hmm, Arkanthong Sturlums. You can find a Sonin's generator there after you deal with the steam trap. What's that about a steam trap? The cursed contraption. I almost had it figured out when a ghost floated up to me. No problem, I think. But then it enters a centurion. Ghost machines. No sane Nord can fight ghost machines. I dropped my notes and ran as fast as I could. You left You left your notes in that place? Because of a few ghosts? Not just ghosts. Ghosts that possess dwarven machines. I'm through working for that crazy old mage and his clockwork monstrosities. But if you want to get past the steam trap, find my notes and follow the directions. Okay, now we have to go and talk to Volrina Quora above. Really? Okay. Um, stairs. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. What? Okay, so we have to talk to Leona Blasio. Okay. All right. Before I do, folks, I have to, as they say in England, make a little trip to the loo. So I will be back in just a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it happens. Be right back, folks.
All right. <laughs> I'm back, folks. Sorry about that. All right. Ah. It's one of those things. I'm sure I've seen this already. Yep. All right. We need to talk to Leona Blazo or Blazo or something like that. Blazio. If you're another pilgrim looking for charity, I suggest you move along. I have neither the time to waste nor the gold to spare. I'm currently between employment and my own funds have become dangerously depleted. Barrelsar sent me to talk to you. I need to find the items on this list. Let me see that. What that crazy mage need this time? Hmm. I suppose you could find a manual clockwork shaft in the Nichu left ruins. But I'd avoid that place if I were you. If the roof doesn't collapse, the constructs will rip you apart. Berzar needs it to build something important. So tell me how to find the manual clockwork shaft. If you insist. Deep in the ruins churns a big machine. When I was there, it sputtered and vibrated, collapsing parts of the ceiling. Lava and rock fell everywhere. You need to get past that and some nasty constructs to retrieve the item. Why don't you work for Barrelzar anymore? That mage is a menace. Oh, he always paid well, but the places he asked me to go, each was more dangerous than the last. And if I had to hear about the great gear one more time, for my own health and sanity, I had to break ties with Barrelzar. <laughs> I can actually kind of understand that. I mean, yeah, he's... He seems like a really nice, you know, really nice dark elf. But, yeah, I mean, he's nice and he's friendly. Apparently he pays really well. It's, yeah, I think he would probably drive me nuts after a while, too. Wait, where is that? Below, okay. No, ah, uh, steals. All right, but you can't steal from a bookshelf, apparently, if you're just browsing. Any over here? I'm not going to run around too much. Well, she's... She, uh... She's dressed kind of nice. Volrina Quara. Damned vampires. I'll find a way to make them pay for what they did to my brother. I swear it on the tribunal and any Daedra willing enough to listen. What do you want? Can't you leave a person to her anger and her grief? <laughs> She looks a lot like, including her outfit, she looks a lot like um, a character that's part of a quest. I believe it's in Morthal. She looks a lot like her. Uh, Barrelzar said you could help me locate the items on this list. one in Valone Deus, right before I barely escaped from those damned vampires. <laughs> Tell me about these damned vampires. Eager to become cattle for the bloodsuckers? The Baron clan killed my brother. Damn their eyes. The item you seek was in the manufacturing block, but you'll need a control rod to get a dwarven spider to unlock it for you. Why did you stop working with Barrelzar? Because the mage wanted to send me to the far side of Valdenfell, and I need to remain here. I'm not going Brother, if you can kill some of the bastards, that'll be a start. Okay, so we have to we've got three components we have to retrieve. Did I do this already? Oh. Um Ah, staircase. So we've got three components to acquire and apparently all three of them look like they might be in uh not necessarily like delves but something similar let's find out oh there's one right there what do you want retrieve the go golem deus component let's see Let's 
Jeez, where is the other people? Where is it? Oh, wow. Way the hell over here. Look at that. Way, way, way over there. Jeez Louise. Okay, that's where the golden dais was. Let's see. And the other one's way over here. There, no, that's the um that's the delve that I would that we were stand, standing at uh when I first started the stream. So um hopefully they're not they're not all delves. Cause I know Mary would like to go go in them with me. Well, let's let's see. Um, I don't know if that's a delve or not. I don't think that first place was way over here. So I say we go there first. So we need a way shrine. go to the nicest way shrine. I remembered how to pronounce it. <sighs> wow, the uh, stream is like really close to being um, to being true live. Okay, so... Yeah, that's a really short... What is that? Let me guess. For glory, of course. <sighs> yeah, it looks like there's only right now about a five second delay between what I'm doing and what you're seeing. Oh, wonderful. Cliff Striders... And, well, Kavuti, I'm not, it's like, I need to get past that mess. Grr. Oh, well. Well, I filled that soul that soul gem that I got, that empty soul gem. Uh, you won't be able to see it, but it showed it. It shows behind the chat window that you guys see, uh, right there. That's um, where my loot shows up. And I don't know if you heard that little kind of like a little clink sound, but that was uh, us filling the soul gem after we killed that cliff strider. So now that soul gem... Uh-oh, I heard a boom. What was that from? Oh, Helen's. Um, oh, another cute little scuttler. <laughs> um, so now we can use that soul gem uh, to recharge a weapon or res ourselves or somebody else. And let's take him. Oops. That's not really how I wanted to do it. At least I know you can block you can block that and not be knocked down. I never tried that until today. Actually, I just knew I couldn't get out of the way in time, so I'm like, "Well, let's try block and see what happens." And sure enough, I did a great job. I didn't get knocked down. Okay, so oh yeah, we just got to get over there. It's all twists and turns. Oh my God. Mm. 
doesn't look like I suffered hardly any damage from that either. Oh, well, apparently I'm getting... Am I getting pinged? I thought I heard a ping. I thought I heard something. Well, we'll see. Um... Oh, I thought that piece of wood was an enemy. A pony guar. I'm not gonna hurt you, pony guar. See, there's a pony guar. <laughs> Gotta get to... How the heck am I supposed to get over there? Okay. Back on the road. Wherever the road is. There's the road. I know, it's technically a bridge. I don't want Cliff Strider puke on me. Another bridge. Ooh, what's this? Orc metal. I know it's or what is it? Orichalcum. Orichalcum. It just sounds better to say orc metal. And the funny thing is, it's probably not even. <clears throat> Probably the orcs probably don't even use it. That would be the funny part. Sorry, Shroom Beetle. Well, I got to loot a Shroom Beetle at least. What is... Ah, Nyx Hounds. Get him! Wow! No, you don't. Huh. I don't remember them being able to move so fast. I know that happened during the stream that uh, Mary and I did. We noticed that enemies were getting from there to here really quick. And I don't know if that was just a game glitch or what. A seat. I don't want it. But... Oh, this is what's his what's his face's place. Yeah, that 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 elf we helped. Remember? Oh, God, am I still like a hundred miles away? All right, let's look at the map. We need to be. Looks like on that road. Okay. There's more than one way. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks huge from here. Look at that in the far tunnel. You can see the you can see the silhouette of a uh, big one. <laughs> a scavenger. Please tell me that you're just a statue. Yep, because there's where we have to go. I was just thinking, oh, I don't want to have to fight that. And I really don't, I really don't like, uh, okay, this isn't a delve. I really don't like going into um, dwarven buildings.
What? Oh, well, his notes are right there. You made it sound like you had to go 100 miles. How big is this place? Oh, shoot. It's tiny. Good. All right. Oh, I said all right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that there's a component that Crazy Barrels are once to be, or once in the locked dwarven chest in the center. Oof. Ark. Arkenthun? Ah, that place is final chamber. The active furnace vents are a problem, though. Every time I try to get close to the chest, the fire burns and keep uh, keeps me back. Looks like I need to figure out how to close the furnace release vents. Now if those damn constructs and the damn ghosts will leave me alone for a few moments, I should be able to work this out. Seems to be three valve controls connected to the vents. Should be simple enough to use the valves to close the vents so I can open the chest. Okay. Dwarven spider. And a real spider. <laughs> and see, you can pull fetcher flies apart just like you can. Um, oh, I woke something up. Didn't I? Oh, that must have been my skeletal mates. That always worked. Creeps me out. And I lost my train of thought. I do that a lot. My train of thought is easily derailed. I guess we're supposed to go that way, huh? Yep. Well, um, I want to check things out around here first. I thought there was. Oh, it's just a skull or so. No emonies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like you know, I was you know, saying the fetch flies, you can just pull them apart like you can other bugs. I just don't... They just have to be single. You can't... As far as I know, you can't do it to uh, fetch your flies if you're around one of their hives. I don't think you can. I think that would just piss them off. <laughs> and then someone just grabbed Charlie and pulled him apart. <laughs> well, Charlie was kind of a douche, so. Whoops. Yeah, there he goes. It is nice to be being able to have a uh, combat partner sometimes. As long as they don't uh, get in the way. I'm talking about you, Fox. Okay. Did you see that player just kind of run and jump around me, slashing at me like he was going to be able to hit me? It's like, really, dude? Okay, so we have what? Have to go down there? Yup, but gotta clear the room. You just never know what you're gonna find. And look, he's back there. So that means you have to go over here and look. Because you just never know what you're gonna find. Trouble, apparently. Ec was that ectoplasm? Probably. No, you don't. And you you weren't able to see it because of the uh, blocked 
uh, because of the uh, chat, um, my webcam. Um, but because I killed these undead or these ghosts, um, you get a point with the Fighters Guild to go towards your your rank. See, I just got a, I just got a point with the Fighters Guild, killing that ghost or that spirit. Just got two more, and then three. So I don't know if that means I got a total a total of three more or a total of five because it went from. Oh, he's going to kill some. Go for it. I don't care. You're not hurting my feelings any. I'm just here to loot. Drink. That's all I care about. I'm looting. I mean, now, obviously, I don't want him to kill the boss, because then, you know, I want to, you know. I mean, some people think it's a good a good idea if, you, you know, you get there and the boss is already dead and you can just collect whatever you need. Yes and no, because sometimes, especially in a delve, you have to kill the boss, or at least be part of the boss's death, in order to clear it and, and get credit for the delve. Um... Plus, just think all the experience points you're uh, you're giving up, and possibly good loot. Kill me. Oh, for a second there, I thought he said kill me. I was be like, I'm working on it. <laughs> but then I realized he said heal me. Two more points for the Fighters Guild. Okay, so wait, that way is back the way we came so we need this road I recognize this area now this hallway with these pipes and fetch flies normally don't do do that but it seems like when I'm playing one of my other tunes when I'm playing uh, uh, Rowan's and Balin's route and yes that's his name uh, I do a lot of fishing just because of the character and if you're curious about what I'm talking about then I would strongly recommend going to uh, YouTube and looking up Viva La Dirt League and Viva La Dirt League D&D. But Viva La Dirt League has Epic NPC Man, and that's where Balin's in. And uh, it is a, they are two great channels, a bunch of great people out of New Zealand. And... Uh, Viva Dirt League D&D, they have an ongoing D&D campaign with uh, Robert Hartley GM as the Dungeon Master. Let's see. We'll try this one first. It really makes me wonder... See, it's that one's like shot now. <laughs> one of these times, I'm going to try to see if you can survive that. All three of them blasting on you. Probably not. It probably won't even be... Let's see if we can even... Can we even target it? No, nah, we should be able to target it from here. I'm going to go up there and see if, if it will let you. No, you can't even get... No, you have to. That's disappointing. Try the Eastern Furnace now. Okay, so that didn't do it. Alright, so we'll try Northern Furnace. Oh! Did it! Nice! But yeah, it would have been fun to try to open this, this uh, Dwarven chest up while you're being bombarded um, by three flame cannons. <laughs> well, while I doubt there's anything in here to loot... It never hurts to do a quick scan. Uh, 
Okay, I've got... I've got problems here. How is that grate holding back lava? And look at that lava just coming through it, and the grate's not, like, gone? Of course, I should, technically, I should be dead. I should be, like, in flames right now, because I'm so close to that. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah. I would imagine that probably this whole room should be full of lava. I'll go ahead and at least get the fetcher fly, so at least you get something. See, this one's just as bad. I don't even think that metal would, would be there that close to lava. I could be wrong. But it doesn't look like it'd be the right kind of metal to even be that close to lava. Of course, I know it's part of the wall. I understand that. They were using it to strengthen the wall. But it still shouldn't be there. The lava should have melted it. I know, I know you're thinking, come on, fat boy, quit talking about weird stuff and just get back to the to the game. And that's what we're going to do. Well, I can tell it's been more than 35 minutes since, uh... What is he doing? Okay! <laughs> that, is, that explains it. I was like, wait a minute. Is he trying to steal my health? And I'm like, wait a minute. No, that beam is not headed, is not going at me. It's going past me. Why? <laughs> it's like, well, now I know. <laughs> Oh, hey, handsome. I honestly did not know that my skeletal mage was Argonian. Because I'm almost positive that was an Argonian... Yeah, that was an Argonian face. That wasn't uh, Khajiit. I did not know that. That was... That ectoplasm. That's cool to learn. I don't know why I was just assuming it was human. Or hu human-ish. I mean, like, you know, it could have been Red Guard. It could have been Nord. I don't know why it never dawned on me. It could have been another race. I just never thought about it. But yeah, that's cool that, it, that it's uh, Argonian. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> nice! Whoa, 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 Where'd that come from? Where did you show up from? Come on. Yeah, that's definitely Argonian. I have no doubt about it. But that was so weird. I thought that the, um... I thought that somehow one of those big constructs was behind me. But I don't know if you noticed it. When it, I noticed what was going on. Alright, who's attacking me now? I don't care. You're the one fighting them. Don't get me involved. Um... I was going to say that with the, uh, I don't know if, it, I guess it was, this, whoever it was, one of those ghosts, when their health got low, that's when they started to try to transfer their spirit into one of those constructs. And then I noticed that, I guess, enough time didn't go by to for the transfer to, to happen. I killed the ghost before the transfer completed, and even though the, the um, construct started to move forward, it just fell over. Which I thought was really, really funny. I'm kind of cool that they didn't uh, just 
automatically do it, that they had to give it some time. So that's some good thinking on their part. Don't make it, uh, you know, automatic. You know, make the transfer take, uh, you know, take a few seconds. See? I don't know where he came from. It's like he dropped from the ceiling. God, did he? I... I guess he could have. That was weird. I know I've already looted this place, but I just want to make sure. All right. Um. Yeah, we're gonna get these guys too because they're here. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, I thought there was two. Well, there is two now. <laughs> Ooh, got two ectoplasms. I know it's not that big of a deal. It's just, it's a uh, crafting material, I think. Or no, wait, I think ecto ectoplasm is just something you sell. I don't recall it being in the crafting. Let's see. Oh, geez, look at all that. Let's try to get rid of a few of these. Jeez, a lot of recipes that I know already. Oh, writing sp oh, she she got the writing speed? Well. Okay. Oh, it's considered trash. All right, well, the stream is a little bit behind now. Just as I finished looking at my stuff in the stream, you're just starting to look at it. So. That was a weird sound, that ding. Almost kind of like I parried uh, a sword attack with another sword. It's kind of what it reminded me of. I mean, you're probably thinking, what do you know about that sound? I don't. I just... <laughs> that was too funny. I saw those two ghosts fall down, and I look up, and I see a bear with its back to it, so it's almost like, I don't know, it... that bear farted on him. I just want to wait and see what the heck's going on here before I traverse this little let's see can I get any of these guys nope I wonder where they're headed oh they were just right there at the door at the entrance so I would have got well I'm going to fight these two at these two at least because I would have normally Sneaky. Had him do that before. I want to go see where that one went. It's probably one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them anyways. I'm hurt! I'm hurt. You're going to be more than hurt here in a second. Ah! Look at that. What the heck happened? Why did he... Why... I don't get it. Why did it fail? He had plenty of health. Hmm. I don't know. For some reason, something caused the transfer to fail. I mean, I'm not necessarily complaining. I'm not crazy about fighting the great big ones. Mm 
dead. We're almost out. <laughs> Should be this way, right? Yep. Well, there's a little marker on the door. Okay, so it was the, was it the middle one that I was going to save? Yeah, okay, so it was the other one, which was, was that it? Yes. Oh, man, there's not even a way shrine close. Looks like this one is probably the closest, the Suron. And I'm not terribly close to a way shrine right now as it is. Ugh. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I don't want to waste too much of your all's time. So let's just fast travel it. I got the money so I can afford to do it, so. Okay. Mary's back, but she's got some some stuff she's got to take care of first. All right. Okay, so... We have to get up there. So it kind of looks like... Is this the way we're... I want to make sure. So it looks like I need to go north. So is it spotted because it's a stream? Oh, well. well, that's the way we're supposed to go, so that's the way we're gonna go. One way or the other. Oh, I'll bet this is that dot. That dotted line is this... Yep. This little path. Oh, looks like we get to fight, play with a Nyxox. I wonder if I can block... How well I can block. Oh, pretty well. I'm normally not somebody that, that blocks, as dumb as that sounds. I usually just try to, you know, keep on the move like, like that, but I normally don't stand there and do that. I just don't. I don't know why. It's never been something I've done. Just like playing a character that and using a shield. I don't use shields. I had a... There was... I don't know why. I, yeah, see how quick those Nyx, those, uh, Nyx hounds moved? They're not supposed to be able to move like that. So I don't know what's letting them do it. There's some kind of glitch in the game. I don't know, peoples. I just don't know. Oh, yeah, Red Mountain is getting angry. Look at that. That's because of Vivek's power. Vivek keep uh, is keeping uh, 
Red Mountain uh, at bay as well, but he's um, using what power he has to keep uh, the moonlit in the air. So now Red Mountain is getting a little bit too big for its britches. Let's see. Where are we? Okay, let's see. I think it's supposed to go. Is this the right way? Yeah, alright, so let's mount up now that I know what's going on. Kinda. Well, now I come to a crossroad. Alright, so we want this. Yeah! And was it that way? Yep. Yeah. I know, I was just looking at the pool of lava. I was looking to see if there was anything around it. Anything yeah. to, uh... Let's see. Petroplay. Two single ones you can pull apart. Like that one. Pull apart. And we're not on the right <laughs> right path. Yeah. One of the bad things about Vardenfell is sometimes it's really kind of hard to keep on the path because the path just melds into the terrain. Oh, there's a way shrine. How about that? Yeah. The way shrine. There it is, way up there. Cool beans. We will go. What? Oh, a great shulk. Wonderful. Beetle Scuttle. What is that? Is that a shulk too? Probably. Not close enough to be able to tell. Yep. Alright, so where are we supposed to go now? Looks like a little bit forward and then to the to the right. Mm -hmm. Still going straight. Um, going to be turning. Is it, ah, yep. Mm. There's a big boy guarding the door. Oh, he's not really guarding a door, but you know, kind of what it makes me think of. Standing there looking all big and imposing, though. Whoa! La 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 la! No, I don't want to be attacking the colony. There we go. I's tired. I lies down. Go sleep. Don't wake him. Ooh, catch a fly. Look. So it's just right this way. Looks like. <laughs> fetch her flies. I'll take you, and I'll take you. Nothing quite like playing She Loves Me, She Loves Me Not with insects. 
Or I guess in this case it would be he loves me and he loves me not. I would def I would definitely not have a problem hooking her up with Naryu. <laughs> Naryu's a haughty. Gallum Deus. It's not a delve. Good. I'm trying to see how long it takes for the stream to catch up. It's a ways. There's the door. So about 20, 30 seconds. And just, oh, no, loading screen. Just entered. All right, so I didn't time it, but it's probably about 20, 30 seconds. It's supposed to be 10. I don't know what... And before, it was only like about 5 seconds. So I don't know what causes the stream to slow. Well. That was the way we're supposed to go. Ooh. Got a... What was it? A rest... No, di a diagram. Now, di uh... I know I never really just never really talked about the, the diagrams. They're for making uh, furniture uh, for your or player homes. Um, they're a uh, a crafting item, same as anything else. I don't remember. Oh, I thought this was a player because <laughs> I got super close and they just didn't turn around. Well, they're dead now, so it don't matter. Um, but yeah, um, I can't remember. I think you make it in uh, woodworking, uh, where you make your staves and bows and stuff. Uh, I can't remember. But yeah, that's what the diagrams are for. You read them, you learn them, and then when you feel like making furniture for your player home, you, as long as you've got the skill and the uh, components, you can make pieces of furniture to decorate your home. And usually, if I've already read them, they're already part of that specific character's knowledge, then I usually put them in the bank. So that way, another um, another uh, tune can use it when the time comes. What made me decide I'm just going to go ahead and just start plucking these bugs out of the air now? It's normally a merry thing. is out of range. How is it out of range when I hit it to begin with and it's running at me full tilt? I think the stairs got in the way. <laughs> I love Soul Siphon. <laughs> if you can, tack it on all your all the enemies. You saw that I got I was getting pretty low on health, and I tacked Soul Siphon on three of them and not and took them out, and they healed me up. <laughs> 
I really should give her some kind of healing um, spell. Oh, I was going to say, wait a minute, where did you... How, they can't be a respawn already. It's like, nope, they were players. Sure make a lot of racket. Those weren't players. Those were just people. Huh. That was confusing. Yeah, I thought those were players. I don't remember that somehow. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize it until it was too late that I had tar when I was bringing up that my uh, blast bones. That it targeted the centipede. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. Waste, I mean, yeah, it was close enough that it did damage, some damage to that enemy, but not enough. Ah. Oh, man. Hit him with everything while he's doing his thing. Yeah, that almost completely healed me up. Like I say, I heard something moving. Don't tell me there's another one. There probably is. I wouldn't be surprised. It would make sense, considering where they were at. I mean, if there's another one, I'll go fight him. Dang, that one respawned awful quick. The Fetcher play, I mean. Let's see if there's anything over here. Hello? Wakey, wakey! Eggs and bakey! Oh! Centipede. Boy, he's really pissed that I woke him up. <laughs> he's running after me. I had the greatest dream and you spoiled it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Now, did I already? No, this is a different room. I'll run over here. See, are these? Are they awake? Oh, they're just prisoners. Okay, I get. It. I see you now. Oh boy, there's another one. Run, boys! They're all excited and they run out there. Did they see him or did they go the other way? Oh. 
Another Centurion. I think he's probably just a respawn of ones that we already took out. Come on, I'll say, come on, staff. That's one thing. I, that's one thing that drives me crazy is I won't get the crosshairs on the enemy, and I'll try using my staff, and my staff won't work for that reason only. That I'm not aiming like I'm supposed to. Okay. That should be... Oh, wait. Check out... There we go. Centipede. That should be... Everything. Completed find their notes. Alright, um they call themselves the Burn Clan. The bastards. They got my brother, but they didn't get me. I've been watching from the shadows as these fiends feast. Some of these horrors are nothing more than beasts, devouring the lifeblood of everyone they find. But some are curious creatures, curious about the constructs and still inhabit Gollum Deus. I noticed a particular pair working with the dwarven spiders, collecting control rods uh, from some to use on others. Whatever the device is, it doesn't appear to be functioning correctly. They gestured at a mechanical spider and the creature came to life, but it didn't always work as intended. Sometimes a controlled spider wanders off on its own, other times it attacks. I think they're trying to get it to unlock a component cache in the manufactory. Or manufactory. Um, I'm sure Barrelzar would want the component in the cache if I could get hold of it, but the vampires are too strong for me to deal with. All right. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, Mary. <laughs> now, of course, remind you, you know, you are in stream. Your voice is being heard. Uh -huh. Uh, but I figured calling you Mary would probably be a giveaway. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'll do it when it's just you and me one of these times. You just know it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to keep track when you talk to somebody almost every day and you use two names for them. Yep. It's kind of, well, if I can train my brain to make, uh, make me think that uh, Mary is just a nickname... Then it'll make it a little bit easier for me so I don't screw up. <laughs> okay. uh, but um, that one, if you want, uh, do you, um, have you, well, have you logged in to the game or are you just in Discord? I'm in. Um, I'm just wondering what, um, what is going on with uh, the accounts. I'm just having a look to see what's been removed because of the oh that that thing you, the, my uh, steam it's a mess up by steam my, my banker said no oh, way just wait for them to take the money hmm. um what was i gonna say oh the um the delve that you appeared in front of yeah stay there or, or, okay. or either stay there or if you have something you need to do like you know go to uh go to the bank or go to the store or you know or break stuff down go ahead and do that but that that's where i'm going to be headed here very short very shortly i'm getting the three pieces that barrels are needs to create um a device to help circumvent chodla's staff for vivek yeah and yep. one of the pieces i need Obviously is you know i've completed that line well, yeah you you've completed yep. vardenfell yeah you know, so i'm letting i'm letting you know where i'm at and yeah. so the um, I'm getting ready to collect the second piece here in just a bit. And so the third other piece I need is in that delve. Okay, okay. I I shall just wander around in the area because I I see stuff to pick up. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be spider? Golem Deus control rod. I got the control. Okay, so, oh, it's been such a long time since I've done this. Now it says, use the control, what is, 
Let's see. I think I'm sp I think I'm supposed to find what is that? Is that a dwarf spider? Use it okay, there we go. Wiki wiki! Go little spider, go little spider. Unlock the chest for me. Don't dance! Oh, it just died. Well, what good are you? Let's go find another one. Oh, Emonies. <clears throat> At least I'm finally awake, so I know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> well, I, uh, I mean, you didn't hear because you weren't in the in the stream or anything, but ah, this one attacks is attacking me. Shame on you, bad spider. Bad spider. Bad spider. There. Um, I had set my alarm originally for, I think it was like five. Uh-huh. Because, um, you know, I got uh, Christina to come on over uh, this evening. Uh -huh. And so I figured I'll just sleep in late. Well, I toss and yeah. turn. I toss and turn for a while like normal. And then my alarm goes off at five, so I snooze it and snooze it and snooze it for an hour and 20 minutes, which is as long as it'll let you snooze it. And then I turned uh -huh. it off, and then I guess I fell back asleep and woke up at quarter after seven. <laughs> Looked at the clock and went, oh crap, I got a stream in 45 minutes. <laughs> All right, let's see if this spider's going to do it. Wakey, wakey, little spider. Go, 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 go. Fix it, unlock it, unlock it, unlock it. Good spider. Hi, little, well, dead spider. He did his job and then croaked. Now, I have to leave. So, I'm done here. I just have to get that other piece that's by the uh, delve that that you're either are by or was near. I hate I'm when... still by. Okay. I really don't like it sometimes when you actually have to fight your... Well, I'm not fighting at the moment, but basically have to fight your way out of you know, a place you have to go in. There's no, like, back door. Uh-huh. Are there more pr prisoners over there? Yes, there are. Save the prisoners! I don't know why they're prisoners. What they're... Who they even are, for that matter. In the... Place I'm at now, getting one of the pieces, there's these two little side corridors, and there's two or three enemies there, and then there's two people tied up, sitting on the ground. Uh -huh. And I don't know who they are. They thank me for rescuing them, but I'm like, okay, I don't know who the hell you are. <laughs> I didn't even know you were in here. <laughs> I came in here to collect a piece of dwarven metal. Y'all just happen to be here for some weird reason. And I got to recharge my lightning staff. Okay. Charge. Woo. All right, now I'll go and rescue these people just because... Oh, wait, that doesn't even look like... Are there even anybody over there? I may have just... Well... XP is XP. Oh, yeah, there they are. They thought they were done for, and they're cheering and waving, and it's like, Yay, I'm the hero of people I didn't know existed. Mm -hmm. oh, something else I noticed, but I'm sure you noticed it first, you being so clever and all. That um, the uh, skeletal mage, yeah. that, you know, that I have, I didn't notice it yeah. until just earlier. It's Argonian. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's our, I, I, I happen to be in just the right angle that I got a close-up of its face. And it is definitely Argonian. Or it is was. It always Argonian? Um, as far as I know... Um, yeah, I see him now, and he definitely has a reptilian skull. 
And I'm not Argonian, so I don't know... I don't know if that's what you meant by always. If you meant, like, every character when they summon if it's Argonian. That, I don't know. This is uh, only the first... Uh, I think this is the first tune that I have that uses the mage. It's a little mage. Because mm -hmm. mm. I do have another uh, necromancer, and that's uh, Trabanti. But either I don't have her that high of level, which I don't believe she is. I don't think she's the same level that Raven is. And I don't know if I have any more necromancers other than these two. And um, it may... I, I don't have it on mine yet. Yeah, so I don't I don't know if uh, it's always Argonian, but I just, like I said, I just happened to notice it, and I think, well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I ne it never dawned on me that it could have been, a, you know, another race. I just kind of figured it was probably going to be, I don't know, like default human. Yeah. Or Nord or something. Or at the very least, maybe Dark Elf, which you would you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference, I would imagine. I don't know. I've never actually seen pictures of, you know, skeletal structures of humans and elves and Dark Elves to see if there's actually a distinct difference. I doubt there is. Except maybe just stature-wise, and even then you wouldn't probably wouldn't be able to tell. Hang on. You're in Entrelept, aren't you? I'm in who's in what? Entrelept. No. I'm at Gollum Deus. Entrelept is should be where I'm headed. That should okay. be that should be the one that we were going to. I don't. Uh, divine inter. Yeah. That one there. Yeah, yeah. Net, okay. Left. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. It's going to take me a bit to get there because I have to take the scenic route. So I'm going to take the who's and what. Got a white shrine just. You've got a white shrine just above. You can't get. Is. I don't know if you can get there from there. I mean, I'll try. I mean, uh, I think that's. I think that pass is completely blocked. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know because that's the Valley of the Wind Way Shrine. I don't know if you could just go east. There's uh, it looks to be a couple of crevices hmm? through the through the mountain ranges. Huh? Sir. I'll give it a try. I'm fast traveling there because if if it doesn't work, then I'll have to go back to that Way Shrine because I'm not going to spend several hundred coins to fast yeah. travel. But I'll give it a try. I'll try to stay along the coastline and see if that will get me that will get me there because that would probably be the best option. I saw a Vardvark. Well, look to be um, some ruins of some sort. Yeah. Uh, on that northern bit of coastline there. There's a shiny, but let's see. Can I get the cotton before the Nyx Hounds? Oh, I think I got got away from the Nyx Hounds. Yeah, there's a... I don't know what this place is called. I've been here before, but now i got Flame Atronox to play with. I tell you what, these Flame Atronox are the hottest women in Nern. Ah! I forgot they explode. Or sometimes they yes. do. And some beach. All right, let's see. Let's look at the map and see how we're doing. Hey, we might have actually been able to do it. Um, here's Matt, a little. I want to um, continue through that ruin. I'm actually. That's actually what I'm doing. I'm starting to travel south now. I don't know what the ruin's called. Have I discovered it? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe not. I think I'm going to tra travel through it and see if. Oh, there's one of the hot chicks. Uh, Come here, you. It's got a name section on my bud. Oh, I'm sure it does. I do have, uh, uh. I do have a couple of point, points of interest. But I don't think there are any of those. I don't see anything on my map. I've got a couple for Morrowind Pathfinder to get. Let's see. Hello! Whoa! 
sky shots together. I Eleven sky shots. came across a. Well, it says Derogaz, but that's basically it's a Daedroth. So he's naked. It is. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Hey, tall, dark, and gruesome. Oh, ow. Um, rude. Man, he just... He's taking a while. He's... He's stout. Alright, we almost got him. There he goes. Thud. Hmm, don't know what he was doing with Viridian Dust, but I don't really care. Nope, so far, I'm not seeing... Nothing has given me the name of this joint. No. Um, it's not somewhere that I've uh, been to. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I just discovered it, but no, it just says destruction staff increased to 35. It's like... <sighs> <laughs> and there goes my mage but that's okay uh oh what's up here scamps yeah I'm starting to think that this place doesn't have a name well I got somebody's attention who was it oh it was that scamp I think I'm just going to try taking him out with just my staff, because there's three more in this area. I don't want the, I don't want to get their attention. All right, so does not look like. Yeah, it does not look like this place has a name. Because I've been through the middle of it, and if I haven't discovered anything by then, then I don't think I'm going to. So now I can mount. Whoops. Well, if he doesn't knock me off my mount. Nope. Yeah. See how well that worked. You're going to pay for that, you little snot face. You and your little friend. Knocked me off my mount. And now my girl is tweaking. Um. Something's happening. I can't use my staff. There we go. I don't know why, but every time I tried to use my staff, she would just shake like crazy. Just a glitch. Just a little glitch. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Mount up. Ooh. Shiny. Okay. Rump. Is that more ore? Yes, it is. I'll get there eventually. I keep seeing shiny things. Would you like to uh, invite me to the party? Okay. And then I can follow your progress down here. Okay, that should be social... Friends? Uh-huh. Select invite to group. Alright, I should be there soon. I just gotta figure out exactly. Go to the outside. 
Uh, we're in a different version, so it's me moving this time. <laughs> when it's normally me. <laughs> yep. Ooh, is this a little path that's going to lead me right there? I wonder there? which way shrine it's going to throw me at. Mm, whichever one's closest. Let me see. I would probably... Because there are two there. Va either Valley of the Wind, or if you have it, Telmora. Which I don't right. have. Where is it? Where is it? It's put me at Telmora. Yeah, that's why I could see Telmora, because I could never see it before. So that's... dead. Is that dead east? Pretty much. I'm gonna... You come in to get the way shrine? Yeah! Heck yeah! I'm gonna run over there and get that way shrine, then we can go back. Oh, Kugatis. I'm just getting one of your favorites. What's that? Nick's hound. Oh, yeah. Right now, there's just Kugatis everywhere. Oh, I see you. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah, we'll have a quest. We'll have a, a quest line in here. Yeah. Maybe a couple of them I don't remember, but yeah, I remember that place. Now, back to um, that place. Right, I'll see you there. You're taking a slightly different route than I take. Um, I'm just... I've got the thing on my compass about the middle, and I'm just going. <laughs> that's how I do sometimes, and sometimes that's all you can do, is just get it in the center of your compass and go straight. What was that? Blessed this old mind. Clump, 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 clump. What? Ah, uh, Ash Exile. <laughs> Dead Ash Exile. <laughs> He almost looked like he was trying to jump when he died. Just like he was just going through the motion. The actual jumping motion itself. You have, you're not not far enough where your feet would clear the clear the ground, but just as you were going from a squatting position, move and just started your movement and that's when he died. So it made it just even more funny to me. Back here. I was just going to irritate her and leave the matriarch to uh, eat her alive. <laughs> well, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> all right, you ready to go into the delve? Yep. All right. Mitchell left or something like that? Intra left. Hmm? Intra left. Entry left. Yeah. I wonder if it's connected to entry right. Entirely possible. Ooh. Earn. Uh, it was empty for me. Ah. All right. Let's see. How big is this place? Ah, it's tiny. Um. So I say we just check the whole place out since it's small. What are you attacking something already? Yeah. I've actually done this. I I don't know why it's not complete for me. I'm guessing I haven't on the boss. Uh, there may not be a boss. And some oh, place... not showing as completing for me, then? Um, it's it's not a delve. Or, no, it is it a delve. Is. It is it a delve, is sorry. Delve. It's, one of the, it's one of the ones I'm missing. Okay, then you probably didn't have a boss. I forgot. The last two places I went in were not delves. So my little my little brain was thinking, this isn't a delve, even though I saved it specifically for us to run it because it was a delve. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Backpack, hello. They don't talk. Oh, look at this. A nice fancy chest, and it's not a chest you can you can touch. Look at that. I know, it, it's ridiculous. It is, it? because it's fancy. All the other chests look about the same, but then you get this really, really nice chest that I would love to have sitting, like, in front of my fireplace. When I yeah. get a fireplace. When I get a house. <laughs> but, no! Cheap bastards. What's over here? Oh, we can't get to here. No, can't nope. get to there. 
that must be where we drop down after we complete it. Yep. Alrighty then. Possibly. I can't remember. That's no, got. Um, I believe we have to go this way. Yeah, no. it's, it's the only way to go. Yep, this way. Excuse me, sir, can you tell me which way we're supposed to go? Okay then. Rude. I really do like that spell. Which one was that? Uh, that is Rune Cage 3. Uh, it's a morph of Rune Prison. Gotcha. Okay, since we're supposed to go this way, we can go this way. Because it's got a bigger a bigger room. And what, you know, got to make sure we check everything. Especially with this being a Dell. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's another one. An Arbalist, huh? Oh, they're dead, whatever they are. They're dead last. Sounds good to me. Ruins. Nestle left ruins. I'm gonna do it. We can come back. We can and get that piece. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Man, he died quick. Yep. No, oh, somebody's mad. They put their little totem up. I didn't even get to see that enemy. <laughs> By the time I turned around, they were already dead. <laughs> Oh, and apparently I only have to activate Nightbot one time, and then it's automatically a moderator. It doesn't do a good job of getting rid of the uh, people trying to sell me followers. Uh-huh. Um, oh, like I said, if, if you want a human mod, I'm happy. Yeah, I mean... So I, when, when I can mod. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, I'll let you. might actually be when we generally stream. So, together. just Sundays? Yeah, I've not, I've not been. <laughs> I've not been down here. Yeah. I love how it just sprawls out when you kill it. Them back legs are just... Oh, the ash hoppers. Yeah. <laughs> what we got here? Oh. Oh! Okay. I think this might be the boss. Yep. <laughs> Completed. <laughs> <laughs> now we still have to find. Yeah, we still have to find the. Uh, um, the what's it? There's another one of those irritating chests in here. I don't. Oh wow. Where does uh, this bit go? I don't know. We need. We need to find the. Uh, um. Sky Shard. Complete. Oh, I yeah, just. Compl I I Hang on. All right. Whatever you said got cut off. Um. I don't think it's going to be there. There was a little route through from the boss room that went into. Uh, what looked like quite a large area. Well, let's... Should we check that out? Yeah, we might as well. I, I mean... The... I, I didn't go the whole way down through it. Was it this room or the other one? It was down there? Let me just poke my head in here and look. I think it was this way. Okay, well, let me just poke my head in here and look around. There's, uh, there's two exits from that. Oh, I found the sky shard! Nice! <laughs> There it is. 
Show enough. La da! La! I got so a skill point. I don't. I got that. I got one out of three. <laughs> now we have to do is find that stupid piece. I'm not sure how you'd find that if you weren't actually looking through every single nook and cranny. Oh, uh, I'm not going to look at through every single nook and cranny. I'm going to go back the way we came. Because uh, there was another exit. I mean, we could always look, check it out if you want, but I was just going to see if I could backtrack. Um, you've actually gone through a completely different spot than we came in through. Well, we can just... So th this is the other side that I could see. Oh, okay. Well, we can look around and see if there's anything to... Doesn't look to be that much around here. Huh. I'm going to go peek around the corner. Hello? 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 There's uh, some boxes on the other side of the lava. <laughs> on the other side of the lava. Okay. Another one of these stupid oh, this... chests. This should be bringing us back into uh, where we were. Towards, towards where we were. So that means I'm just going to go straight ahead. I think that's the way out. Yes. Yeah, because there's that, there's that chest. Nope, that is the way back into where we were. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Wait. Then how the heck? Oh, there's a centurion. So this is why I don't like dwarven buildings, or whatever you want to call this. Because it's just got more twists than a pretzel factory with the bends. Yeah, okay, so, straight across. I thought that's what I did. No, you went down that one. Okay, then we came out another one and went straight across then. There we go, that looks familiar. Hot foot, hot foot, hot foot, hot foot. You like how I hold them at a distance for you so that your uh, your walking bomb skeleton can travel as far as possible? Yeah. I was going to say, what are you attacking? That poor bastard over there who doesn't stand a chance. See, look at... Oh, you didn't see him, did you? Let's see. Can I summon him? Yeah, look at him real quick before he dies. Does he look Argonian? Um, he looks human now. Or maybe orcish. Yeah, it looks orcish to me. Huh, he was Argonian. Let me try summoning him again and see what happens. No, he's human there. There he is. There he is. That, that's an Argonian. Okay, so it, it does uh, vary. I just never... Cool. Huh. Yeah, that makes it even even better. Just a different... Yeah. Yeah, just a different race each time. Okay, so we have to go this... Is it this way now? Well, we just came that way. The way you're facing. Let's see. Maybe we still need to go further. I think this is a transition area. Oops. Accidentally killed a centipede. Yeah, accidentally, I'm sure. I was, a I was aiming my shard at the dude. <laughs> okay. This should lead us. All right, so we have to go. We have way? to kill everything. Oh yeah, I know. I just want to make sure we're head looking the right way.
Come on. So say, let me loot it. Oh, we're going into the depths. Please don't tell me we're in the same place we were. Oh, damn it. <laughs> we are. We went through all that for nothing. <laughs> I, th I was expecting it to just lead into another room. I guess we have to go up into... Do we have to go there? Yep. I remember this now. So we hadn't been in there before. Yeah, is there anything to... It's weird. I mean, it is just... It is just downright frightening how many backpacks we find just lying around. Yep. It's, it's almost enough to make you want to give up being an adventurer. Because <laughs> you like, why am I finding all these backpacks? All these people that are just nowhere. <laughs> they just set their backpack down and just disappeared without a trace. Say, hey, don't be swinging on me. Uh-oh. Froze for a second. Okay, so... Good night. Hmm? You good now? Oh yeah. Usually when I when I freeze it only lasts for a couple of seconds. So what are we supposed to do anyways? Oh go down this way, I guess, huh? Gosh, that makes me nervous. Yeah, I don't think all of the routes are actually connected. As I would expect Yeah, and, appar in an and apparently old dwarves just like Elves don't believe in handrails. I mean, who does this? Who does this? Makes it almost perfectly flat above, like, well, extreme heights and, oh, I don't know, lava. Yep. Not dwarfs for you. <laughs> yeah. Elves do it too. If you remember our time on Latro, being yep. up there in the trees, where I would hop on my horse and deliberately jump off there so I would die just to drive you nuts so you'd have to come down there and resurrect me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what can I say? Sometimes I'm easily entertained. <coughs> I just realized I'm getting, I'm getting warm. I'm going to have to actually click on my uh, ceiling fan. I'm starting to sweat here. I mean, it is almost 11 o'clock my time, and it is, well, it's kind of summer. Where's my little... Give me a second. Got to get my grabber so I can turn my ceiling fan on. There's high and medium. That should do it. If you can hear it, let me know, and I will turn it to low. But I need some kind of airflow. I can't tell. Uh -huh. I think my... I can't tell what my... Oh, yeah, I can see my thermostat. It says 71. Which may not be too warm to other people, but to me, that is incredibly warm. Yep. Uh -huh. Ooh, I see the marker. I see the marker. And... Oh, the one chest we can open has got the stupid piece that I need. Give Balazar the components. That's why I can't see it. Um, now to get out of this joint. Because I think it's probably going to cost too much to just zip out. Let's find out. Um, have you got... Um, have you got the in-room in Vivac? The in-room? Uh, yeah. I don't know, to be honest with you. Is that is always free to use. Why did... It is barely moving. I think I might have pulled it too many times. There's high. 
that should be medium. Because it acts like I just went all the way around to stop and it was just barely moving. So the in-room, I, in Vivek City, I yeah. don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's Balmora. It's the St. Gallen Penthouse. Oh, House. yeah, I do. Yeah. So that's free, re free travel. Inside? To, within oh. range of... Um, hmm. Okay, so I'll do it on the outside. Yep. And then we can hop... I am going to go and grab myself some lunch because I've just realized it is almost dinner time and I've not had lunch and I'm starving. Okay, go right ahead. This is what happens when I take an early finish. I don't have my lunch whilst working. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I hadn't eaten either. What I, I... What, what, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab a coffee so I've got something to dunk biscuits in. I'm okay. I'm just going to have biscuits until my actual dinner. Alrighty. Uh, so I'll be a couple of minutes. It doesn't okay. take me long to boil a kettle. Okie dokie. <laughs> The joys of being close friends with a Brit. <laughs> you get all their uh, different terms that we don't, that, you know, either ones that we don't use or they, or just the way they say it. Gotta put the kettle on. I just need to find out how <laughs> to get out of here. That's weird. As long as I can just make it outside, that's all I care about. Because then I can figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go afterwards. Is this outside? This is outside enough. That's another four glory, right? Or is that the... Endrio? I don't know who that is. I don't really care right now. I'm trying to figure out where the... Well, there's... There's the temple. There's more than one way to do it. <laughs> oh, that's right, because I was running over this way to get to the what to the shrine. There it is. That one's this is the one I wanted to go to. All right, so now we've got to go to Barrelzar's Tower. So I need Molagmar. I drained my cup. That still looks like I'm about 20, 30 seconds uh, delay in the stream. That's okay. Let's see. Get myself to Barrelzar at least, and then we can actually. We'll just wait on Mary then. What are they doing? Aww. Even though I don't like Nick Soxes, look. One's grooming another one. It's either grooming or they're having a having a moment. I've never seen that before. That is actually pretty cool when you think of it that that Bethesda went went to the trouble of just taking a pair of Nick socks and having them sharing this moment. Like I said, whether that one's it looks like that other one's grooming the other, but grooming it is can be a form of uh, intimacy in in a different you know the animal kingdom. So that's actually pretty cool. I am actually going to stay away from them. I'm I don't want to kill them because that was a sweet moment between nasty, ugly, hateful creatures. But I'm not a total monster. Actually, I'm going to have to try to remember where that's at so I can see if I can show... Show Mary. Actually... 
actually, I want to make sure she sees it because she she appreciates uh, stuff like that. Now I just now I lost them. I think there's the one. Where'd they go? Because that was the one. There they are. By oh, that big giant mushroom. Almost underneath it. So I'm going to go back to the way shrine because I want her to see it. And she did say it wasn't going to take her long. She's just going to put the kettle on and fix her a coffee and get her some biscuits. So... There'll be enough here to keep us keep us occupied. We'll just take out these uh, rogue Nick socks. I don't like how it spits out those little pools of whatever it is, poison, acid, or something. Ooh, a shiny. Well, it's a good thing I did backtrack because she's going to want to see this uh, book. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? I'm just so used to uh, zipping through all the books. I want to try to make it so that you all can read them if you want. Hi, I'm back. Uh, welcome back. Um, hey. Head to the Molagmar Way Shrine. Molagmar? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to want to f uh, follow me because I was almost to Barrowsar's Tower and I saw something which I thought was really kind of cute. And I wanted you okay. to see it. It's an uh, intimate moment between two Nixocks. And I don't mean want you know, I don't mean them going <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not what I mean. It looks like one is grooming the other. And I just thought it was like a kind of a sweet moment between ugly evil creatures. And so I didn't attack them. So I'm like, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna leave Mary over there because I want her to see that. Because she appreciates stuff like that. Usually. Yeah, and it would really help if I was going the right way. Probably. I never get lost in Vivexity. Why am I getting lost? I did it too. I got. I was running all around, and then I finally got to the Way Shrine, and then took to Molegmar. I've got lost because I'm. I'm not going to the usual Way Shrine. I usually go to the one that's out by the crafting area. Oh, the the uh, actual the Vivek City. Yeah, I usually take yeah. uh, do the temple. That's usually yeah, the one. That, I go. That's the one I decided to head to. Um, right. Okay. So which one am I going to? Molagmar. Molagmar. East. Oh, oh there you are. There. You're here. No, I'm on the loading screen. Oh, I see you. <laughs> Coffee for dunking. Huh. Well, from here, you're loading in all the right places and all the right amounts. I, I see you. <laughs> all right. Now. Um, mm -hmm. you go? There you, there you, there you. All right. right so, okay. okay, now watch. See, they're right over there. See where I see. Can you see them straight ahead? The one's actually in the river. Yeah. Okay, now c come this way because we don't want to get too close to where we draw their attention, but close enough to where we can see what they're doing. Stop right about here. And you can see that that one on the right is grooming the one on the left. How the cute. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was kind of a sweet, intimate moment. Sure. Nick Soxes. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. And I was just thinking that that just kind of shows you the kind of commitment that Bethesda does when they, I mean, yeah. who say, hey, you know what? I want you when to... they make something, they make it. Yeah. I mean, what other game would have something, just a trivial detail like this? Not many. Not many companies would go go to putting this much 
frills into it. I know frills isn't exactly the right word, but, you know, just the extras. The little extra details to make it more immersive. So, I mean, if you want to kill them, you can, but I decided since they were having a sweet moment, I would let these two monsters live. But I will, if you want to kill them, I, you know, go for it. I won't stop you. I'm not going to kill them. Yeah. There was, there was one over here that I killed. Oh, that, that hyacinth wasn't there before. And it's not there now. <laughs> yeah, that's one way of looking at it. Hyacinth? What hyacinth? What hyacinth do you speak of? Now here's the next ox that I killed. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to do that. I forgot to block I it. Can't, can't reach him. I have no. I I did learn that for the Nixox and the Cliff Racers, um, if you block when they go to do their you know their dive or jump attack, you suffer very little damage. Mm -hmm. It's almost a perfect blocking, and I'd never done it before. Because I'm not usually somebody that blocks unless it's a you know if I can tell that an uh, a bipedal enemy is going to do a special attack that you can block, then I will. But other than that, I, do, I just, I don't block. Just like I don't use shields. I just never been the type to use one. All right. Barrelzar's tower. Get him to, he cracks me up though. He's kind of, he's funny. He's weird, but he's a genius. Mm -hmm. And remember when you were, uh, when, you were telling him what was going on, and he says, Right, uh, such and such and so forth should take care of the problem. And you're like, Oh, do you have one I can borrow? And he's like, No, of course not. I just invented it. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, Here's the parts I'm going to need to make this. I'm like, How the heck do you know this? <laughs> it's like, Not only does he know what's, what would fix it, he knows how to make it, what components is needed to make it, and he knows it's going to work. That's the scary part. As nice as he is, someone like that, I would hate to say, uh, he could be too dangerous for his own good. I mean, if he just slips the slightest way towards being a bad guy, mm -hmm. we are all in a lot of trouble. All right. Barrels are. Ah, I remember. The components for the tonal inverter. Were you able to acquire them? Yes, I recovered the sonance generator, the inversion conduit, and the manual clockwork shaft. Why did I have to say that? Why couldn't I said, "Here you go"? <laughs> Impressive. I thought I'd never see you again. That's what usually happens when I employ hirelings to acquire rare and exotic items from dangerous locations. Well, the great gear doesn't dawdle, neither do I. Hand them over, and I'll get to work. I like that. Impressive. I thought I'd never see you again. That's what usually happens when I employ hirelings to acquire rare and exotic items from dangerous locations. You're like, thanks, jerk. <laughs> you sent me off knowing I was going to die. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> but he's got, a, he's got a stupid, friendly grin on his face, too. That's what makes him frustrating sometimes. <laughs> All right. Here are the items you requested. Tonal inverter coming up. Connect this. <sighs> Almost done. There. And I love how the the finishing touch was to hit it with a big wooden mallet. Mm -hmm. And I think he said, "Don't explode." I don't know. My my sound cut out. All right, tonal inverter. I, I think he does say, "Don't explode." Yeah, and then and then what's the best way? After you say don't explode, finish it up by hitting it with a mallet. It makes perfect sense. Let's see. The strange, unwieldy device has been cobbled together from various dwarven components and is supposed to counteract the powers of Sunora. Now I get to talk to him and see what he has to say. Do you like it, my latest creation? I call it the Tonal Inverter. Did I mention that already? No matter. It should counteract Sofa Seal's modified staff, at least momentarily. I assume you know how to use this? 
correct? <laughs> I love it. I assume you know how to use this, correct? You are assuming I know how to use something that has never existed until like 30 seconds ago. Sure! <laughs> of course, yes. Of course. I took a class on tonal inverters it's last it's year. That's the best. Yeah. And what? he turns to you and says, no, that will tear the universe to shreds. <laughs> well, tell me how I'm supposed to use it then. Yeah. No, I don't know how to use the tonal inverter. Of course you don't. Of course I just you. invented it. Honestly. Well, you ask the question, dumbass. You won't use it anyway, not if you plan to fight the one who wields so the seed of staff. Almost impossible to operate the tonal inverter while also engaged in battle. It's too cumbersome. So how do I use it to counteract Sunara? Sunara? The Blessed Staff? I suppose the name fits. Sort of. You'll need someone to assist you. Someone you trust. Oh, not me. Too busy. Too fragile. But using the tonal inverter is definitely a two-person activity. Well, at least he, he knows he's not a fighter. That's one good thing. At least he's not one of those people that are so full of themselves that they think they can do anything. It's like, oh yeah. no, not me. Too busy. Too fragile. <laughs> it's like, okay. At least he's honest. Is the tonal inverter hard to use? Easy as scrib jelly pie. One person operates the controls to generate the sound waves. When it reaches the proper pitch, you activate the inverter and discharge its energy to disrupt Sunara's power. Temporarily. Here, I read your instructions. <laughs> he even had time to write instructions on how to use it. Ugh. All right. I have to report to the arch cannon. Goody. Let's see. Ah, I'll just take. The, I'll just go to the way shrine. You coming? Oh, it's still just loading up. Ah. I'm gonna head towards the waste shrine, but I still don't wanna disrupt the love birds. Or the love ox, as it were. Uh-huh. <clears throat> want the ner want a nern root? Yep, yeah, I'll get a nern root. Alright. Is that uh Nick Sox still following me? Ow. Uh, um yes. Just wanted to get a word in. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That, whoop. Oh, just got that block in at the last possible second. Yeah, that. Oh, I forgot we pissed off the mud crabs. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing that crack that that kind of cracks me up and kind of makes me mad at the same time is when you charge past enemies, they follow you, and a lot of them will get. A free attack in and you can't do any damage to them which in a way I guess if you think about it that could be considered um, what do they call that uh, attack of, no, no no attack of opportunity, attack of opportunity. And like in D&D &D, right. I think that may be what that, what that is uh, we are headed towards temple the shrine? Vivek Temple Way Shrine yeah so maybe that's, that? so maybe that's what that would be considered that would make more sense that way, if that's how they would handle that. Yeah. Because in D&D, &D, that certainly would be uh, an attack of opportunity. You ran past them. Of course, you weren't in me you weren't in melee with them. You just went past them. So I guess that would be kind of seem nervous today. loosely based. See, this is when you know things are... Oh, well, you weren't supposed to come here. <laughs> I was so, so... I was just fixated on the VAC. I walk in there and I was like... I was going to say, we're not talking to him, are we? Uh, um, I go in there and he, he wasn't even face. in there. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> as soon as it, it loaded up, I was like, where's the VAC? <laughs> I don't remember this happening. Where's the VAC? <laughs> no, we have to go talk to Grumpy Gus. Here we go. <laughs> Your presence defiles this city, Ashlander. How dare you demand to see our god? 
I'm here it's to been help. a while since I've looted in here. If you won't listen to me, listen to the Outlander. Thank the three. The Outlander has returned. Why were you... Sarozal able to help us? Why were you talking to Mary? He turned it just as he was talking. Thank goodness the uh, Outlander's here and he was facing you. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's a little too aware there, Tarvis. <laughs> All right, let's talk to him. Pay no attention to this Ashlander. She's been blathering on about Lord Vivek's condition and how she can help. But I'm certain it's a trick of some sort. I was just about to have her thrown out of the city or possibly tossed to the slaughter fish. That's Saren, Chodala's sister. She helped me in, in Aldrin. I know who she is. I still don't trust her, and I refuse to let her anywhere near Lord Vivek. Who knows what an Ashlander would do while the warrior poet is in such a fragile state. I need her help. It's going to take two of us to operate uh, Berylzar's tonal inverter. A tonal what now? Well, since I can't go with you, or with Lord Vivek requiring my undivided attention, I suppose we'll have to let the Ashlander assist you. Very well. Take her and defeat Chodala. Then bring me a stop so we can restore Vivek. Sunara will soon be in our hands. Talk to Saren. Well, as soon as she stops moving. If that old idiot is what passes for a tribunal leader, it's no wonder the houses are in such disarray. No time to dwell on that, though. I found my brother, and it's worse than I feared. Chodala's quest for power has led him down a dark path. What do you mean, a dark path? Chodala and his most loyal followers have taken refuge in a ruin called Kaush Terari. It's an ancient shrine devoted to the Daedric Prince Malakath. I think my brother plans to ask the God of Curses to help him. Gotta get back on, uh... I didn't have my, uh... Facebook Live open again. Well, I had it, but then I closed it. All right. Well, nobody was in there. Uh, I've got a device that will counter Sunara, but I need your help to use it. It will allow us to stop Chodala? Then of course I'll help you. Since the Tribunal's dogs took my weapons, I'll need to replace them. Meet me at the ruins when you're ready. I'll... S Ugh. Was that... I'll see you at... Kristariari? Kristarari? I'll see you at that place. <laughs> Be before we go anywhere, mm -hmm. can I just read out something from the chat? Okay. What chat? <laughs> uh, the zone chat. Oh, okay. Someone has said, does anyone want to sell two sofas? I'll pay 30,000 gold for two of them. Someone's replied, don't sell him the sofas. He will find enough change in them to make a profit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't look in chat because I usually don't care what, what is said. And plus they can't, you know, you can't see it in Twitch just because. You know, uh -huh. with my luck, you'd get somebody in there, and they'd start cussing and saying s stuff, and I'd lose my Twitch account. <clears throat> so, that's, so I've got it blocked for the stream. Like I said, I usually don't. I usually don't look at it, just because I'm busy doing something. All right, now we have to go meet Saren at that place. So... Wait, 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 wait. Way shrine. Now I have to figure out which way we're going first, so I'm okay. Good. There we go. Um, All right, where are we going? Uh, that's what I'm trying to find out. We are going to that place. So. The closest we need it... Oh, God. Sorry, I wasn't looking at your Twitch stream. Okay. Where are we, where are we heading? Um, 
Ravasahamaranahanaway Shrine. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, crap. Take what the the way shrine that we took. The, the Tell more. Show me what. Show me where your quest is. If you look at the map, look up. Look on. Look on. Uh, look on the stream. Because that that's where I'm looking. Okay. Show me where your quest is. Right over here. Gotcha. So for me, Sadrith Mora is the closest. Which one is? Sadrith Mora. Sadrith Mora. Where is that? Yeah. Is that it's... one that... Oh, one I don't have. Yeah. Okay. So are we going to enter left in the... You can, or if you want to go take the other one and just meet me there. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to travel with you. All right. I'll I'll wait for you here then. Step out on the road. Oh, that was so cool. I had hmm. the Wayshrine map open, mm -hmm. and I literally saw you travel. Cool. That's that's one of the few things you don't get to really experience hardly ever. And there's a uh, great shulk we can go ahead and kill. All right. Oh, that's a merchant. I was going to say, what is that kind of creature? And <laughs> it's... It's a guar. Named Hyacinth. That's something we sh I should have thought about while we were in Vivek City. Is, uh... Well, I still got some a little bit of room. But, let's see. I'll talk to the merchant see if there's anything I have that I can it's sell. It's good to see a friendly face. Sometimes I walk for days with nothing but my guar for company. Now, what can I help you with? I didn't even notice that guars had fangs. They had two big fangs in the front. Huh. They're still kind of like cute. canines? Yeah. They're still kind of cute in a way. In a lizardy way. Oh, I've got some trash I can get rid of. Okay, any consumables? Okay, let's see. Recovery. It's weird that they would have canines as they are apparently vegetarian. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they're defensive. Who knows? Okay. Oh, fish I can sell. Yeah, that's what their claws are for. Their claws are kind of tiny, though. Oh, they, they're, they're not that tiny. They've got... Um, Claws on their hind feet, which oh, are I meant, I meant, I meant very that nasty looking, as well as the ones on their hands. I I meant that their arms are too short, is what I what I actually meant to say. To really to to be really effective, I think. Would you say that to a T Rex? No, yeah, but T Rexes are a teensy <laughs> bit bigger. Yeah, I'm going to find a T-Rex and go, Hey, look at you and your stupid short arms. You can't do nothing to me. Arp. <laughs> All right. Well, I made, made a little bit of room. Okay. So we're going to be getting close to a new, new area for for me. Where the heck is the... Where did say, where'd the road go? We stepped off the road. Uh, the road is here. Yeah, I want to. I want to keep on the road. Is this the right way? Yeah, it is. Just a little offshoot. There's some jute and a wing. Well, actually, a whole matriarch wing flapping up and down <laughs> in the in the camera. Ooh, there's something over here. Look at that. She hasn't been. She hasn't been singing a lot. I'm mm -hmm. thinking of just some game sounds. One sec. Why am I not really hearing her sing? Maybe she's just not doing it. I heard I heard her when we were in um, Dutch Cannon's office, I think. Mm. And she was 
really quiet. Okay. Maybe the Arcana glared at her and hurt her feelings. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. He's kind of a jerk. Oops. This way. I knew there was a... There's a, um... Runestone down there. By that big rock. If you want it. Don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Not at all? Hey, there's Hyacinth. Alright, which way are we going? Uh, we are going the way they're going. Yeah. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Uh oh. Oh, that was just a person. I thought we were gonna get get attacked. Uh, everything is. One one try to take is stealing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna take his fe that fetch or fly though. Uh -huh. All right, so we are headed east still so we can go along the water line there's a nyx ox yeah we were both ready come and get me oh yeah yeah, I was really surprised how much, how well Block worked on that jump and the uh, dive bomb attack. Expert Resin Harvester. Nice. Now, let's see. The Shy. What was it? Elf Beta? Oh, Quest Giver. Hello. Yep, Elf Beta. Oh darn it. This Please, it was popping. Oh no. So I could ask. His handwriting is atrocious. I'll just write Inky Black Darkness. That sounds like the tomb he described to me. I know what this is. You know who the, what this is, don't you? I well know who he is, but I don't think it's the same chain that we pick up. Uh, from him in um, solitude. No, no, it's not. It's a different. It's, a... it's that guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Narciss Dren. <laughs> what tomb are you talking about? The nearby Drenak tomb, of course. My employer, the famous adventurer Narciss Dren, explores its depths, searching for hidden treasure even as we speak. Oh, I hope to get to God, he's got. A... She's got and books I... that he's written down here. I intend to be Narciss's assistant. <laughs> Not surprised. What does an assistant know about hidden treasure? I am the personal assistant to Narcissus and I know a great deal about a good many things. I found the old scroll that mentioned the treasure, after all. Narcissus has been gone a long time, though. He didn't miss lunch today, and he never skips a meal. I can go into the Dreloth tomb and look for Narcissus Dren. You'll check on Narcissus? How sweet. I would make certain you get a mention in his next book. I suppose he just lost track of time studying him. Intriguing relic or some such. I would feel so much better if you go into Dreloth and see if he's all right. Can I ask you a few questions before I enter the tomb? Certainly. I'd be more than happy to tell you all about the great Narcissus Drain and his exciting adventures. What do you want to know? Oh, ask, actually, I was going to ask you about your cleavage, but okay, we'll ask about Narcissus Drain. Tell me more about the hidden treasure. Um, again, Narcissus Drain, not your cleavage. I suppose I can take credit for that. I found an old scroll in a Talvani bookshop and took it right to Narcissus for analysis. His translation indicated there were secret passages inside. He said secret passages mean hidden treasure, so here we are. <sighs> Tell me more about Narcissus Duran. I really don't want to know. Mary doesn't want to know. I'm sure the readers don't want to know, but we got to do it to continue. You don't know the great Narcissus oh. Duran? 
I'll try out the simian again. That's good. And writes books so that his beloved admirers can experience his adventures vicariously. I can't hear her yet. I'm too far away for you to hear her. Ah. Uh, you really admire Narcissa don't you? It is much more than mere admiration. Narcissa fills my heart the way mead fills an earthen jar. Someday, we will undergrow the ritual of Mara and live happily as husband and wife. Herbeta Dren. It has a certain flair, don't you think? <laughs> Woman, you are delusional. Hey, you are a ways away, aren't you? Yep. Ooh, here's a backpack. With water in it, which I still don't understand how you can put water in a backpack. Why would you? That's what water skins are for. <laughs> yeah, but you put your water skin in your backpack. I would hope not. I would be too afraid the water skin would leak somehow out of the top. <laughs> Usually you hang water water skins off of something. I don't think you would stick it in a bag, but what do I know? All right, Drelloth Ancestral Tomb. Oh, please let this be the room at the well. Please let this be the room at the well. Shouldn't be, because all of that chain takes place in Western Skyrim, doesn't it? No, not the one that I'm talking about. I've never been in Western Skyrim. Okay. Oh God! Here he is. New apprentice. Well, let's start the lesson, shall we? Let me see. What does the map look like? I don't know. Let's see if I. Well, I'll talk to him first. Oh, once I can, the. There we go. Can you smell it? The dust of ancient elves permeates the very air of this old tomb. Ooh, that's a good phrase. I must remember it for my next book. But tell me. What brings you to this lonely place? Oh, I'm so smelling something, Narciss, but it's not the dust of ancient elves. <laughs> <laughs> Your assistant, Elf Betta, sent me to check on you. Assistant? Oh, you mean that young Nord woman who's been hanging about? Very kind of her. But Narciss Dren doesn't need to be coddled. I'm in the middle of a very important undertaking. There's more to this old tomb than meets the eye. What's so special about this tomb? According to an old scroll I discovered, this tomb was built atop two older structures. Imagine secret chambers that haven't been opened in centuries. And the family died out ages ago. No one to contest my findings. Except that creature over there. <laughs> I've better mention an old scroll, too. She did, did she? Probably told you she found it. Well, I had to translate it. And from the ancient elven, no less. Difficult, even for me. Now, before I could begin my investigation, however, that creature over there appeared to harass me. Oh, you big baby. Tell me about this creature. It's a sneaky one. Silent as a tomb and twice as deadly. Even its shadow was terrifying. But it won't get the jump on Narciss Drin. Slip into the chamber and see what its intentions are. I'll wait here, poised to leap to your aid as necessary. <laughs> yeah. I'm still smelling it, Narciss. <laughs> Very well, I'll go look. You big coward. Search the barrels. I know what it is around the corner, too. Yep. It's a, it's a, it's a scamp. The ominous shadow belongs to a tiny spider feasting upon a long, dead scamp. Neither poses any threat whatsoever. I knew there was nothing to worry about. Oh, you're so full of yourself. Now lead on, my stalwart companion. Yeah. This tomb won't explore itself. Let's see. Earn. 
turn. I'm definitely going to need to get to town again soon to dump off all the uh, recipes and blueprints that I can't use with her. Shoes all wet. At least there's no short of urns to loot. Whoops. Oh, that one was empty. Did I? Oh, I don't want that stuff. Well, that's a fancy greatsword, though. Yep, so. Ancestor Prayer Room. This isn't what I expected. It's rather small. Let's see. I'm not saying anything to the comment that he made. <laughs> Why, what would you said? That's what she said? I would probably have gone with, well, your head looks like it would hold a lot more brain than it apparently does. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I can find you a brain in one of these urns. <laughs> I'm looking. Yeah. Pristine water is too good for him. How about some ash? That's what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that would probably be a quite an improvement. Oh, I know, since he loves all his little mysteries and stuff, how about one of the 50 million lockpicks I have? I'm going to stick that in his head and see if that helps him at all. So many urns. But it's always a good thing to loot them. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but geez, all the crafting materials, and sometimes you get good stuff. And hey, I got a, I got a, what was it, blue? A blue or purple diagram? I think it was blue. Oh? Well. Yeah, let me see what it was, because it would be under supplies. No, it's somewhere else. You can't use that one. I got the recipe for tinsel, tinsel tingle tonic. I've got like six. I got I got one blueprint, one formula, and four recipes that I that I've already that I can't use because I've already used them. Halalu rock barrel for a blueprint. Uh, what is that? In Inderil light post stone as a formula. Then I've got recipes for pan fried trout, roast corn, roast pig, and tawny port. Oh yeah, there's the crafting one I got. Uh, crafting motif thirteen, primal style. And I oh it says that one says requires rank six or greater of any of the metalworking, tailoring, or whatever things. So I I can't even use it yet. So, I've, I've got like eight spaces left. All right, so let's talk to Doofus. Uh, this isn't right. Where's the Where treasure they? vault? Yeah. In chambers. This tomb deeply disappoints Narcissus Drim. What were you expecting to find here? Something more interesting than a boring burial chamber. This ancient scroll indicates that if you honor the ancestors, they reveal... Um, I can't quite make out this word. I'm having a hard time translating some of these old idioms. Vardenfell has a lot of tombs. Are you sure this is the correct one? Are you questioning my expertise? Yeah. Ancient Elven is like a second language to me, and scholars across Tamriel revere my ability to make sense of historic gibberish. Still, I could check my notes again, just to be sure. 
Why don't you do that? Hmm. Let me see. Uh, this squiggle means tomb. Oh, wait. That's V, not D. Veloth tomb. Ooh, what's this button do? Yeah, that's really a smart thing. Oh, look, what does this button do? It's like, dumbass. Follow him, he's just standing there. Oh, hello. Yeah. Deal with that, will you? Then talk to Elfet outside. Completed? How's it completed? I'm still fighting the damn thing. Now it's dead. <laughs> In the middle of the fight, it says completed. And I'm thinking, well, okay. You just stop the fight and say, well, sorry, big guy. You know, it says I finished it. It says I beat you, so you might as well just give up now. <laughs> it didn't do that for me. No, it did it for me. He still had about maybe a quarter of his health left. And it said completed. That'd been funny if we would have just stopped, you know, mid combat, everybody, including him, and he just kind of hangs his head. <laughs> Damn it, lost again. <laughs> so, well, maybe next time, big guy. <laughs> that that would be a fun boss mob. Wouldn't it? Just because, just because the, I guess it would be considered the probably the divines or the daedra that could do that. It would have to be some type of god or goddess to do that, uh -huh. to, to put it in the air like that. When he'd see it, he'd automatically knows that he lost the fight and just stops because, well, well, why keep going? If you've lost, you know, no point in getting killed over it. Yep. And what would really, what would even, I don't know why I'm think, thinking it, but what else would be kind of funny is if you like told, you know, ask permission to come back like in a few days or a week and spar with him again. Uh -huh. And then you end up be becoming friends with this guy, with this creature. That would be cool. And you just go in and just spar. All right, now I need fezzes. That would be funny. My little brain comes up with the weirdest things sometimes. Yep. that. It's Fezzes. Kajita has gold if you have wares. See? Kajit has gold if you have wares. <laughs> so leave it to Fezzes to answer that immortal question. Because <laughs> usually it's Kajit has wares if you have gold. He's saying, I'm betting you're back at the reasonable rate of trade. Yes, yes? <laughs> I am just... Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna... I hate getting rid of any of the... Anything that I, that um, I know I can break down. Oh, no. I just sold um, Narcissus brain transplant material. Ash? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did too. I really didn't hold much stock that it would work. Really, do, I, I want to break this stuff down. I've got three spaces now. I think we might be almost done with this with this quest. If so, then we can go somewhere to break all this stuff down. Because I've got, well, I've got ninety three spaces used. So let's just see what's. Oh wait, I was. What was I looting that I had to stop? Give us something. Um. I think it was over backpack. here. No, that oh, was the sack. No, it wasn't the sack. It was the back. Yeah, that that backpack. I was thinking of the the, the normal shaped backpacks, not these, not these big yeah, square I ones. Yeah, think, I think that's the first time I've seen a backpack in that shape. I think so too. All right, let's see what happens. This wasn't the one I was hoping for. I don't know where that one is. Oh, hello. This is a ways down. 
Oof. I'm still loading in. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I noticed that too, so I'm just heading toward the arrow. Because that we're supposed to do is meter. Yeah, I think the, the quest that I'm wanting, was wanting it to be, is, um... I don't think she was there. I think it was just him and the big guy. Yeah. So, all right, I'll talk to her. Master shot out of that tomb so fast. Just like that time my sister laughed so hard and mead spurted out her nose. Narcissus was so excited he went to find a mage to open a portal. Told us to meet him there. Porphyry, pack up. We need to move. Yeah, Porphyry. Did Narcissus say where he was going? your help when he has me, well, just beyond my comprehension. Nasa said that he found new information. He said that the scroll was not about Dreloth tomb. It pointed toward Veloth tomb. Any idea where Veloth tomb is located? You better get moving if you're going to help my Narsus. Veloth tomb is on the west coast, just south of Nysus. Borfrey can make his own way, just like you. He's reliable like that. Me? I might hire a mage. Portals are so much nicer than walking. Okay, well, um, oh, that was I you. think we're probably best continuing on your main quest line. Yeah, that's what I was going to do because we're just like right there. Picking, picking up the way shrine up at Sadrith. Um, what's it? Oh, um, which is just Sad north Sadrith Mora. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a plan to me. Actually, we probably need. Well. I mean, the quest, uh, the quest, the stream has gone longer than I normally do on a Wednesday. But what do you say we keep going till for about another 25 minutes? I'm good. Knock it on, okay. yeah. knock it on to the hour. So that would make it a four hour stream. That mushroom over there is mine. Mm. You can have the orange alchem. There's an orca metal up here? Oh, so enough. Show enough. Okay, so we got... Hang on. What did you whisper? It broke up on me. Oh. Ugh. What I said. Well, it didn't matter because I thought you were getting ready to say it and it popped again so it would have completely cut you out again a second time. <laughs> I can't remember what I said. Okay. I mean, it completely... I just heard, like, the breath that was going to... Uh, that was preceding your first word. Ah. That's all I heard. And then it went pop. And then once it popped, it was over. So it's like, I don't know. Oh, Saren! Should I just reach over and just kind of like pinch your butt? Here we are. Your mind, I can't see her. The curious one's bloody doorstep, preparing to enter a Daedric ruin to try to stop my brother's march toward power. I hope that device you mentioned really can counter the invulnerability granted by the staff sooner or. Take this. It's a tonal inverter. It should disrupt disrupt the staff's power for a short amount of time. Well, that's larger than I expected. But it looks simple enough to operate. I suppose it's better that I work the device. I'm not sure I'm capable of attacking Chodala. He's still my brother, no matter how dangerous his beliefs have become. Take a look at these instructions. They explain how to use the tonal inverter. I'll help you counter the effects of Sunara. Maybe once we neutralize it, Chodala will listen to reason. I know that's probably just wishful thinking. I'll settle for finding out who tempted Chodala with that dumb stuff. Maybe you can clarify a few points before we head inside. Go ahead. Ask your questions. Then head into the ruins. I'll be right behind you. Why would Chodala seek refuge in a, Daedr in a Daedric shrine? The tribes rejected him. Azura set her face against him. Now Chodala's seeking aid wherever he can find it. That makes him more desperate than I imagined. And more dangerous. Why he decided to solicit Malachath, the god of curses, 
I have no idea. Tell me more about Malakath. Malakath's an evil god. The Daedric Prince of Curses and Broken Promises. Perhaps that's why Chodala has sought him out. The prophecy of the Nereverine was Chodala's to fulfill before it was wrenched away from him. Could Malakath be involved in what's happening to Vivek? Perhaps, but I don't think so. The Oathbreaker prefers a more direct approach. He isn't one to hide behind convoluted schemes and plots. Still, if Malakath agrees to support my brother... Yeah, it popped and cut out the last sentence, but... Uh, I saw you and the Archcanon arguing back in Vivek City. What have you... Why have you agreed to help us? It's true, I have no love of the Tribunal. I also have no stomach for a war between my people and the Great Houses. Too much blood will be spilled to no good end. Even Azura proclaims that my brother must be stopped. I'll help you in any way I can. All right. So now we get to go inside. Boy, that was a heavy sigh on her part. Is that Kush Tarari? Kush Tarari. Kush Tarari? Yeah. I don't know how it looked on, on your screen, but on my screen it looked like it was pushing you through the door. Actually, it looked like we were both pushing on the door at the same time. It didn't look like you were pushing through me or like pushing against my back or anything. Oh, wow. For some weird reason, the Twitch stream has paused or is buffering. Facebook uh Live... Fine on my end. Hmm. Facebook Live is running fine, but I've got the uh, buffering wheel in the middle of my tablet, and I'm looking at Fez's face, so you can see how far behind that is. But I guess as long uh, it's, it's running fine on me on mine, which is on my desktop browser. Well, that's good. Then I don't have to worry. And it's just my tablet for some reason. Well, I guess I do have a tablet, a phone, and a computer running off my, the same internet. Uh-huh. And my phone and tablet are connected wirelessly, so that might have something to do with it. Yeah, I'm going to go for the witch leg. Oh, I'm going for the blood cleaver, just because that was the one that my target landed on. Oh, I knew there was something I was going to do. I wanted to check. Say, so don't run too far. Um, I want to uh, throw a uh, boost on me. Oh, wait. Not, it's not supplies. It's slottables. Let's see. What do I want? I'll just use one of the crusty breads. There. Give myself a little, little bit of a health boost. There's a scoffing witch. Jeez. Over oh, there. Those red got exiles. The timing wrong to leave before it exploded. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it exploded in my face. Let's see. Talk to Red Exile. I guess that's the Red Exile. Let me see. I want to check. Anything else to uh, loot right around here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Talk to Renos, or, Re or probably Renus, or something like that. Oren. Chodala. He's gone mad. Sought to make a deal with a Daedric prince. Mm. What happened here? Chodala appealed to Malakath. But the God of Curses rebuked him. He killed us all. Said Chodala already served another. Where can we find Chodala? He went deeper into the ruins. It's a Malakath shrine. Well, if he's already serving another, he's probably serving Malak Ball. If I had to guess. Alright. Witchling I'm going after.
her? That was weird. I went after the mask because I don't creatures. like them. They don't belong yeah. to Malakath. Another prince's power is at work here. Malakath Shrine. Chodala, brother, stop this madness! You bring this outlander to kill me, sister! You can't harm me! I have a powerful patron it's on my side! This up here. The staff protects him. Right. You can't hurt him until we use the tonal inverter. I need a moment to get this working. What is that? No matter, you are no longer worth my time. Scarfin! They serve the Prince of Bargains! Keep them busy while I finish this! The tonal inverter is ready. Stand in the field and focus the wave! Knocked you on your butt, didn't it? My protective shield. What have you done? I'll destroy all of you for this. Yeah. Got a big mouth, Chotala. Eight gold, that's all that busybody had on him. We've dealt with the false narrow very he had sixteen, I got eight as well. <laughs> okay, we've got to talk to Saren. That was just checking this uh, harder than I expected. No other bookshelves that I missed. Totally when I was so last angry. Time. Yep. So full of rage. Not like himself at all. But still, I can't believe I helped kill my own brother. We did what was necessary. I know that. It was either Chodala or the lives of hundreds of Dunmer. All because he convinced himself he was the Nerevarine. Or someone convinced him. Either way, my brother is dead, and the cavern of the Incarnate has another resident. We should return to Vivek City. Take Sunara, and I'll meet you back in Vivek City. Your arch cannon made it quite clear that the staff was the key to saving the Vec. I need to take care of my brother's remains. Then we'll be done here. All right. Sure, there's nothing. Doesn't look like there's anything to loot at all and there said there's one bookshelf it's bookshelf here i see it i'll get me twilight out of you wait okay and that's nope nope can't loot that urn nope and oh there's an urn with a, oh goody with a lock pick <clears throat> all right so now we have to Return to the palace. Splash, 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 splash. So we want to head north east to get on this little landmass. Actually, I think I'm on the wrong side of that. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> I want to go and unlock that other town because it's since it's got a way shrine in it.
Not the player home. Well, I guess I could unlock that. Or discover it, at least. I don't know if it's a, it would be a free... Uh, what, what you call it? Let's see. No, I didn't discover it. Ooh, what's that? Cotton. I actually have to go in. Might actually have to. Yeah, let's try that. But as far as I'm aware, they don't actually discover until you get them. Ah. Uh. The the one that I'm after that's in the middle of the lake just north of Vivek, that is still uh, shaded black for me. I hear a thunk, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm not actually going to go in the house, I don't believe. I don't know if it would make any difference. I think it would. Well. It's... Ew! I just realized what what this area is and where we would be, where I'm going to be questing. Uh, the house is inside mushroom tumors. Yep. No spank you. I'm leaving now. How weird. Oh, Twitch crashed, I'm guessing. Let's try it again. That was weird. Because I just noticed and it went back to my main screen. Let's see. Uh, it's still working it's, for me. Looks like it's caught up. I don't know what happened. Yeah, because I just... Yeah. All right. Cool beans. Um. Right. Ooh. Shiny. Jute. Cotton was just here. <laughs> that is some fast sprouting jute. Okay, so I need to go north. North, 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 north. Um, I've got it set as a destination exactly on the way, Shiny, if you want to follow me. Okay. No idea what's between us and that, though. That's helpful. I'll get us there. I might get us killed, but I'll get us there. Yep. Fair enough. Well, there is a pathway. A flooded pathway. Oh, I see some. A oh. kaguti. Yep. Where'd you go? Oh, you ended up somehow behind me. Yeah, just... I stopped to look at the kaguti. Yeah, uh, I'm headed towards the way shrine. I don't care. I don't care past that. Someone singing. Yep. Sadrith Mora, and there's a quest giver. I will pick up that quest after I discover the way shrine. So at least we'll have. I'll have something. What is it? This is probably all guild. These are probably all guilds. Yep. Yeah, these are all guild traders. Um... Oh, that reminds me. Probably have a quest over here somewhere. Let me see. Um, check something real quick, guilds. I changed my body markings, by the way. Did you? Here we go. Oh, I have a guild. <laughs> yep, I f I'd forgotten that I actually had my own guild that I started with my main. I'm just going to talk to, um, what's his face? Ioki, I think his name Ioki. is pronounced. I like Ioki. Mind your step. I would not want you to step on this random patch of grass. I jest, of course. The Telvani forced me to work, but I make sure it brings them no pleasure. I see you wear no shackles. Do you seek work? I know someone who needs help. Tell me more. In truth, you would be helping many Saxlil, myself included. During my latest escape attempt, I met an amber beauty with eyes like summer rain. Her luchial name is Sun in Shadow. 
but I call her my heart. She hatches a plan to set us free. What do you need me to do? Seek her out in Tel Naga. If I know my heart, she will be sunning herself in the light of some book. Always reading that one. Always learning. If all goes to plan, she will read her books beside me in the boughs of a hist. Soon, I hope. All right, I'll go talk to Sun and Shadow. Walk with Sithis, my friend, and mind the Telvani. They spin lies yeah, like an that, elder that's at a yarn wheel. Uh, a cool chain. Walk with Sithis, my friend. <laughs> it's like, whatever do you mean? Um, how did you end up here? I ventured too far from the hist and did not heed the bird signs. Dark elf slavers spine hooked me near Thorn. I escaped four times, but never for long. Eventually, the Telvani bought me at a discount, I am told. I take pride in that, at least. <laughs> Is this legal? Laws are slippery things. The Ebonheart Pact outlawed Argonian slavery, but House Telvani refused to join the pact. In truth, I cannot imagine how they would live without slaves. The Magisters are like overstuffed crocodiles. Dangerous, but lazy. Can I help you break free? I thank you for your offer, but I tire of breaking free only to be recaptured a day later. Sun in Shadow's plan will earn us a lasting freedom. If you help her, you help me. Who are the Telvanni exactly? Mages, mostly. Members of the so-called Great House Telvanni. One of the four great houses of the Dark Elves. They love using that word, great. Great at ruining lives, perhaps. So they all keep Argonians as slaves? Yes, and Khajiit also. You see, for a Telvanni, life is nothing but a cheap struggle for mastery and control. Mastery of their dry-skinned magics, control of their mushroom towers, and dominion over people people like us right goodbye yeah I, I like Ioki's name yeah all right so we're not obviously we're not going to talk to Sun and Shadow it's um it's a very soft sounding name isn't it it is it is okay so I'm wanting actually I can just I don't have that many quests we've got to return to Vivek's palace so that's where I'm headed Take the way shrine to the to Vivek Temple Way Shrine. All right. Lord Vivek, protect us. Pull yourself together. You're a buoyant armager for Vivek's sake. Who keeps saying that? Saying what? Pull yourself together. You're a buoyant armager for, uh, uh, for Vivek's sake. Because these are just players, and I heard it the last time I, I stepped in here. Uh, it's probably one of the two point armages outside who huh. has their faith shaken by what's happening with um, Lord Vivek. Oh, yeah, that makes sense because after he was the one saying, like, uh, Vivek protect us or something like that, mm -hmm. it was just too long of a response. I was already inside and the doors were already closed when I heard the female's voice. So I thought it was somebody in here. All right, now we're going into the, the part that I hated because. We see, well, obviously we're in Vivek, going to Vivek's private chamber, so that tells you something about Vivek's condition. Ooh, a shiny. Oh, I need to, let's see, trigger. Forgot. <clears throat> On books outside of the bookcase, or books in, most books I want to try to leave at least a couple of seconds on each page, so that way the... 
viewers can read them if they want to. That's something I still haven't gotten the hang of. I keep forgetting because I'm used to just zipping through these. And who knows? I might actually, you know, go through and uh, want to read some of these books myself. I just don't have the time. Not right now. Not, not during a stream, anyways. <clears throat> There's Vivek. And we can't even talk to him. So you see, he is in such bad shape that he's pretty much unconscious, I guess. So we have to talk to Archcanon Tarvis. Oh, this is terrible. Lord Vivek collapsed. Tell me, Outlander, were you able to defeat Chodolong? Have you brought me a staff? I'm afraid Lord Vivek may not last much longer. We defeated Chodola and brought back Sunora. And just in time. According to my calculations, with every use of Sunora, Chodola drained more energy from Lord Vivek. It almost killed him. We can use the staff to save Vivek. Just plant it in the floor, and the power will return to him. I'll plant Sunora on the floor and return Vivek's power to him. Working just as I expected. What are you doing? It's killing him! What did you expect? That's the point of all this, after all. I've powered up the tonal inverter. Activate the wave! Yes, a betrayal. Yeah, I forgot who that was. Yeah, that was Barbus. <clears throat> That's a uh, Clavicus Viles' uh, servant. And now there's Vivek, his spirit. We can speak to him. Well, let's do it before we speak to Saren. Barbus, pet hound of the Prince of Bargains. I should have known. Talk to the Ashlander while I compose myself. Yeah, Clavicus Vile. Uh, that's his his minion. You see him in, there's a quest in Skyrim you pick up where he's actually in the form of a dog. So you actually get to see what Barbus actually looks like. Alright, let's talk to Saren. I, I still I something was wrong as soon as I approached the palace. I came out again. I could feel it <laughs> yeah. in my bones. I was on my way here when Azura showed me a vision. I saw Sunora killing Vivek. Even without Chodola, that damn staff is dangerous. The Archcanon seemed to know that Sunora wasn't going to help Lord Vivek. I don't think that thing was ever the Archcanon. It called itself Barbus. As an Ashlander, I'm more familiar with Daedric lore than most of the elves of the Great Houses. Beyond that, I've made a study of the most prominent Daedric princes. Why are, the da why are the Daedra relevant to all this? Because Barbus is a loyal servant of the Daedric Prince, Clavicus Vile. I'm not an expert on the Prince of Bargains, but it seems to me that this was all part of some grand plan. Perhaps, Perhaps Vivek can oh. explain things better than I can. <laughs> I was going to read her last sentence out loud. <laughs> all right, let's talk to Vivek again. Barbus, faithful hound of Clavicus Vile, a shapeshifter. He killed the Arch Cannon, took his place. Chodola, so the seal's device, impersonating Tarvus. It was all part of some elaborate plan. Plan? They tried to kill you. That was simply a consequence. He needed tribunal energy to locate the clockwork city. I was the easiest target. If Barbus enters Sothaseel's city, 
disaster will follow. I appreciate your help, but I must conserve what remains of my energy. Right now, we just, I guess, wait for the next one to pop up? Oh, there's something. Wait, no? Oh, yeah. Cannon Levool or something like that. What happened here? Where's the arch cannon? Oh, by the three, Lord Vivek looks terrible. Where's arch cannon Tarvus? He always seems to know what to do in situations like this. The arch cannon is actually Barbus. He tricked us all, and now Vivek's energy is nearly depleted. Barbus? The Daedric Hound? Wait, wait, I, d I don't understand any of this. But if Lord Vivek's energy has been depleted, then the moonlit. Red Mountain. My gods. All of Vardenfell is in danger. There must be something we can do. If only there was a way to give Lord Vivek some energy. Wait. That's it. A blessing stone. Find the overseer and retrieve another stone from the construction site. Oh, please, hurry. I've never seen Lord Vivek in such a desperate state. I'll talk to the overseer and get another blessing stone. I expect the overseers near the unfinished cantons watching out for looters. When people panic, they're capable of anything. And with all the chaos going on outside, the overseer closed the construction site. Get her key and bring back a stone. Why are people in a panic? I know, that's a dumb question. A few moments ago, Red Mountain erupted and the moonlit above the city dropped dangerously low in the sky. I assume that was when Lord Vivek's energy was depleted. If we don't find a way to restore some of his power, and soon, Vardenfell is doomed. What about Barbus? Uh, I'm not sure, but our first priority must be to restore some of the Lord Vivek's energy. After that, he can tell us what we need to do next. Did Barbus give any indication as to why he did this to Lord Vivek? I'm not completely sure, but it seemed to have something to do with Clockwork City. So the seal's private domain. It said that the place holds the secret to remaking Nern. I suppose that would interest Barbus and his master, Clavicus Vile. But Clockwork City can wait. The moonlit hanging above us, not so much. What are you going to do while I retrieve the Blessing Stone? Someone has to take care of Lord Vivek. I'll make the preparations necessary to return the power of the Blessing Stone to him. I'm really operating above my station here. I'm not the Arch Cannon. Then again, neither was Tarvis, I suppose. Right, goodbye. <sighs> yeah, we need to get a blessing stone so Vivek doesn't die on us. And, <clears throat> well, with that, it's 12 o'clock. We're going to end the stream <laughs> on a cliffhanger. <laughs> We've got her. <laughs> Do what? Da, da, da. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. We've got... What will happen next time? Right. Actually, we'll just go ahead and we'll stop right here in front of Vivek. <laughs> and Saren. Yep, there he is. Our friend Vivek dying. And this is where we're going <laughs> to end the stream until tomorrow. And Mary's crying. <laughs> I shouldn't be. You are. No. <laughs> I shouldn't be. Look at the body markings. <laughs> I shouldn't be crying. <laughs> oh, what are those markings again? <laughs> By an armager. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but well. I remember. <laughs> I remember the betrayal. <laughs> of course you do. It wasn't even five minutes ago. <laughs> oh, for you, maybe. Do you got markings on your face now? Oh, yeah. I didn't see him. You were facing the other direction. Oh, well. Anyways. You like to stand in the light? Oh, no, you're fine. See, you were standing that... You were, the way you were standing, see, I can't see the markings on your face. Because it's on the left side of your face. See, now I can. Which, it looks cool. It shines and stuff. But, all right, folks. That's going to do it. Uh, that's going to do it for today. I said leave it on a cliffhanger if i can i will <laughs> whoops i smacked my tablet Ugh. wait what's going on oh so say i was going to go to my my actual 
OBS page, but I didn't have my my uh, keyboard turned on. Ah, <laughs> oh, so. See, see, according to my screen, Lord Vivek has changed into a blue dragon frog. I thought I had myself completely logged out, but I didn't. Or I hit a button. There we go. Now we're logging out. I think. Or no, I, when I do that, I see what happened. All right. <laughs> I have to wait until I completely log out before I change. I go back into uh, my OBS page because it cancels it for some for some reason. Uh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that, that it d did it before. For some reason, um, I mean, because to change to change pages, um, it, like in, to use for my OBS and stuff, I hit Alt Tab, and for some reason, when I do that, when I'm logging out, it cancels the uh, logout. But there we are. We are logged out. So that's gonna do it, folks, for for today. This was longest stream to date. This was four hours, actually, almost four hours and ten minutes. So longest oh. stream to date. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping someday if I can get enough, you know, enough followers and I can actually have viewers, on, you know, during an actual live um, live stream, then someday maybe like um, on a Wednesday, I'd like to be able to try to do a 12 hour stream. Because that was, I mean, that was four hours and, you know, I mean, I slept in, so I mean, I'm doing good, <laughs> but that's going to do it for the stream. And so, I uh, hope you had a good time, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Mary seemed to have a good time. Did you have a good time, Mary? I always have fun in yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I thought you did. So, anyways, folks, um, that's going to do it for today. So, I hope you'll uh, join me tomorrow uh, for another stream. And, obviously, it won't be as long. It'll only be, from, only be two hours from 8 to 10. Because uh, i got to work tomorrow night. Boo. <laughs> but anyways, that's going to do it, folks. So thank you again for everything. Thank you for coming to the stream. hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow. Um, for those of you that are seeing it on Facebook Live, please like, share, and, you know, you know, and then come to, you know, well, you can come to YouTube and subscribe on there if you like. Come to Twitch. Give me a follow. All that good stuff, you know. Sh you know, make, make sure and share the the Facebook one so that way I can get get out there and share my Twitch streams and all that good stuff. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you tomorrow um, at eight o'clock to pick up where we left off, and hopefully we'll be able to save Vivek. But will we? <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. I, hope. I will be back in a minute. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, Mary. And that's it, folks. See you tomorrow. Make sure to be there. Take care, guys. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>